So here we are tonight, starting very late. We're gonna end up running a little bit late, but it is what it is. We got 42 monsters. It's middleweight, so we're not gonna have a lot of going to time like we did last night, or the night before. 14 damage from the tiger. That tiger's stats, you know, this is gonna end up in the video. People aren't gonna know what you're talking about. That tiger's stats are pathetic. He's got like 250 power. I don't know what it is with the tiger, but his stats compared to all the other demo monsters are horrendously bad. I wanted to do uh, a tournament at one point with all the demo monsters. Like I wanted to uh, game shark them into the game and then make them fight. But it is so ludicrously uneven. Some of the monsters are just like, there's no chance for them to win. Like Hopper is incredibly bad and Tiger is incredibly bad. And then some other monsters just have like base, like a composite of like 500 higher than them for no reason. It's really funny. Okay. So, exclamation mark bracket, check out the bracket. We got a lot of Japanese players tonight, because this is the Japanese format. Uh, my boy Big Beat sitting here, waiting to fight the winner of Sulaco and Slimiest Max. I'm pretty excited. He went 10 and 6 yesterday, that's pretty solid. I'm pretty happy my guy did so well. So, here we go. New layout looks sick, by the way. Missed the debut, thank you. I think it looks pretty good. I'm a fan of it. Okay, let me uh, close some programs I got running. Can I remember any of these checked monsters now? So it'll be a pleasant surprise for you? Yeah, it's been a while. Rankin Smog and Beaker up first though. We saw Rankin Smog last night. And that is the the Ocerot. And then I forget what Beaker is. Oh, the Beaklon, yeah, yeah. This is, oh, is this the, the hyper tank killer B-clon? I think it might be. One of them is. There's a pure bed B-clon with just nothing but heavy attacks, and it is crazy. It's such a fun monster to watch. Okay. Start a prediction. P1, P2, 30 seconds, and we're gonna go fast mode. Video games. Elbow with the sub, thank you. Very kind of you, seven months. And then also Psycho Smurf with the Prime earlier on in the day. Hoping for some more 999 life steals to qualify tonight. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. And uh, Rincewood as well, thank you guys. Very kind of you. I'm sure you get this all the time, but you helped me beat the game after 20 years and helped me understand this whole thing. I must thank you for igniting a passion in this game. That's why we're here. I'm very, very glad to hear that. That's why I do this. I'm happy you were able to get more into this. And uh, I noticed you said earlier, this is your first time catching the stream, right? How does the betting work? You There's a prediction that pops up. You click on the little crystal ball. You choose which side you want to bet on, whether the player one side or the player two side. And then, you know, you start off with some chips. And you make more chips uh, passively if you are subbed. And then, yeah, you bet them all. And then you spend your chips on annoying shit just to, uh, just, just to bother me. With shit like this. Wait, did it do the hammer bros thing twice? Hold on, what was up with that? Let me let me check that again. We're gonna do that again. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, you're like, just play the fucking game. But you can press forward, you can skip this. It seems like it played it a second time. Yeah, it plays it again for a bit. Oh, I, you know what? I have it looping. Uh, where's Hammer? Pretty easy fix. Loop. Okay. Easy fix. I had to start it a second time, yeah. There we go. So, Rank and Smog and Beaker. Here we go. Dragon. Yes, this is the one with just the heavy text. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh wait, I gotta... Oh, I don't have to fight the winner of this. I have to fight the winner of a match coming up. 
Dragon combo looks real funny. Does a little pitter patter on your head. Flying press, give him the smoosh. 600 damage. Into the horn attack, it's enough. But there's the grit. Uh oh, Rankin Smog can win this. Dragon combo! He gets him. Rankin Smog with the double dragon combo win. That'll do it. Rankin Smog wins. So we're gonna be rapid firing through these Yokai Watch and Joffrey B. Oh shit, Iraqi fight? Okay. Call this one the Gulf War. Prediction is live. Make your bets. So yeah, click on the little uh, little crystal ball or I, on your chips, and you'll see it. Comboed all over that bug. You do love pure B clone, but the dragon's your boy, so you got to bet on him. I feel that. That makes sense. I understand that. Beaker is getting damaged a bunch. I wonder if it's skinny. He also just got hit with crazy stuff at Guts Deficits, you know? Okay, what do we got? 59-41. People like in Yokai Watch slightly better. Oh shit, we got a uh, Beat Dance? Hit him with the Beat Dance, big crit. Yokai Watch has a lead though. Weapon gonna do a tiny bit of damage. Joffrey has a little bit of defense. Less life, but a little bit of defense. Booster Slash, and finish him off. Joffrey's got a couple of intelligence attacks too. It is kind of hard to priority skip for the kick line, so I understand why. Spin Slash, gonna do a lot of damage. Kick, ooh, good crit there. But Spin Kick's gonna take him out. He gets the grit. Little Draco doll still hanging out. Sneak combo. Crits for 480. That move is maybe the most overpriced move in the entire game. Yokai Watch is going to attack first. Going to take that one 2 0. Okay, next up, Slako and Slimiest Max. Ooh, speed gel. Interdosting. Okay, prediction is live on these two. A pretty standard dragon build. And uh, a low skill, a minus skill build. Which definitely helps him out versus tanks. You'd say two cutters over sneak combo? Take a, take a look at uh, sneak combo stats again. Two cutters is kind of fucked up, but two cutters is especially bad just because of how cost efficient uh, laser cutter is. Is that a cyber dragon? Yeah, it's the dragon metal nerd type. Okay, 84% on the gel. Wing attack. Oh, it's with the hit attack immediately into <laughs> the tail attack. <laughs> 990 speed, not enough. Okay, game two. Gel top can do a very small amount of damage. Bite misses. Tail attack misses as well. The stabs? Ooh, kind of big damage. Tail attack misses again. Slimiest Max in a good spot to win this. He gets it. Game three, here we go. The hit text with the, the minus skill build is kind of interesting. Because it's not just a straight up anti-tank build like I thought it was going to be. It's pretty all around, it just happens to uh, have less skill and the text to make up for it. Spike top kills, but there's the grit, Slako. Oh, he's gonna get smooshed! Slimiest Max beats the dragon. Slako is probably one of my favorites to win this, so... We already... Already there's a lot going on. Okay, we have a double Japanese bracket next. Into another Japanese player? Oh my god, are they all eliminating each other? That's really unfortunate. I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh well. Too late to fix that now. 
so. It is double limb. Oh shit, one life pixie? Hell yeah. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Swing, I swear, wing attack never lands. It never lands. I'm telling you. It's probably due to laser cutter, but also the guts rate. You know that makes it. You're, yeah, you're making a good point there. I think you can make a pretty good argument for that, for uh, two cutters being a little bit less cost efficient. But sneak combo is like it's like twenty force for forty two guts. It's pretty rough. Good chance to crit, but you know, that's not enough to carry it. Okay, Pixie with two thirds of the bet. Or not Pixie, the Centaur with two thirds of the bet. It's the Smash. That's game one. Game two. Another Smash? <laughs> okay, that, that'll do it. Running the one life builds is very, very risky. Centaur wins. Next up, we got cool runnings and H2. Who's H2 by? H2 is by S. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. I don't know if Japanese are being superstitious, but I finally like these random values like 777 or 888. It's a lucky number. I keep joking about how four is a lucky number, in uh, but only a couple of you understand why that's funny because four is like a homophone in Chinese with death, and so four is like a very unlucky number. Eight is their lucky number, one of them. Thought one HP builds were meant to make it to the finals. You thought wrong. Only if they're Golem. The Golem one's like an interesting counter pick. It's actually pretty solid. Gelcopter opener misses. Well, oh, life still misses too. This guy's got 96 life. I don't know what's going on here. I didn't see a Pepsi man. Single seed gun can take it. Jab doing about 5%. Seed gun gonna do decent out there. Ooh, the seed gatling misses. It's another beam gun. 96 life. That's all it takes. Game two. Oh shit. Okay. H2 is going to take it. Cool runnings. Doesn't land a single intelligence tech. Whiskey and Annie up next. Uh, whiskey is... Oh, God. Another person. Uh... They didn't put their fucking name in. Come on, how hard is it? How hard is it to put your name in? Grandpa. Okay. Nobody reads the instructions. It's okay. Nobody watches the video before they comment. Nobody reads the instructions. Extremely low skill on the on the Baku. Predictions are live. 
Your bets are salty so early in the stream. You keep fucking up. He was an actual grandpa who made it. Maybe. It was time for reading things. No one does. That's true. You make you make a good point. Okay, scores have been updated. 88%. That's probably fair. He does have the good build, he just doesn't have a good chance to hit. Neil Stab's gonna do work early on. Fox power doesn't matter. Wait at 14? You know, he does have a chance. It's just, it's not a big chance. Not a great chance. That's game one. I'll do it. Game two, here we go. Misses immediately. Charge is going to miss close to 60. Knock is going to miss as well. But Whiskey keeps going for that diving press. a &E doesn't even need to hit. Oh, knock, knock. Who's there? a and &E And the Grim Reaper. a and &E takes that one 2-0. Kyle Kiske and Ornoa. Oh, this is JP's. And Ornoa. We saw Ornoa last night. Fun build. I uh, I got a little bit lucky against it. Land and laser cutters. Okay. Okay. So that went to Annie. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Annie is a very scary monster, also backed by Penguin's luck. Annie has a chance to win the whole thing. Fighting someone with 500 skill for him is, you know, it's pretty good though. It's a good roll. Kisk means might have Thunder Lightning. I, I assume it does. Otherwise, it just, you know, that's just a bad reference. Farius's name is Broad Appeal. That's pretty funny. A lot of low skill mons. Yeah, people are trying to kill tanks. They don't realize half the monsters are actually speed monsters anymore. They just, they're just hoping for perfect bracket, you know? Opening snowstorm. No crit, good damage. Oh my god, he only has Deathbringer? JP's never played Guilty Gear in his life. That's true, he has. Are you ready for bad reference? <laughs> Oh, 800 damage on the snowstorm. Kyle's in trouble. See a Deathbringer. Gives him power. Power Rush Slash. Ooh, good damage there. Second one misses, though. Another one, two straight. Not going to do much damage, but we'll run out the power. Not that it matters too much. Ooh, Dash Slash. Gets him. 11 seconds left on the clock. Kyle takes it. Game three. My spike's doing 311 damage. All these hit techs, really not what it needs to do versus a tank. Our slash gonna do 800 damage. That's enough. Ultra G versus Shumagorath up next. So JP's monster moves on. Prediction is live. We got an Ultraman. Here we go.
Yeah. Always bet on JP. That uh, that Kai proxy has already won more sets than he has in Guilty Gear. JP, the type of guy to lose like 90 games in a row. And then when you decide to see if you can beat him with only mashing punch and nothing else, he actually beats you and goes, I think I'm improving. That may or may not be a true story. Also, JP, let's play some Strive again. It's been, it's been a while. I haven't uh, had much of a chance to play in a really long time. I am improving. You know, with that attitude, you probably will do. Okay, 65% on Ultra G. Never stop grinding. That's the thing, I'm always stopping grinding. Minus 40, the double kiss? Oh my god, down to half health, nobody's got any guts. Nobody's got any guts to play the game. Until I beam Ultra G still hanging out though, hits the magic punch. <laughs> That's all he needed. He's got really, really accurate basic attacks, but he's dead. Doesn't have grit, so he needs to just survive. Once he's down, he's down. Damage on the I beam. The double. Shum <laughs> Jesus. Poor Ultra G. Holy shit. Got slapped. Odysseus A and Eddie. Odysseus, eh? Eh? Odysseus be cheesing me. Eddie. Was it by Tim? Okay, speedy mons. You can't mark canceled. That's it. All right, everyone, pack it up. Prediction is live. Who do you like? I can fight your milk. You play Gold Lewis now? Hell yeah. That's hype. I uh, I really like Gold Lewis. I am so bad with him. I want to be good with him, but I just like I can't figure it out. Okay, 64 to 36. Beam shower misses. We got a lot of intelligence Kato's. Like how when he swings, you can see like the the horn. Like they tried to mask the horn, but it shows up on his head for some reason. Just like a little line. Twister Claw sitting above 50%. No duck and dance is landing. Eddie can't land a thing. Doesn't have a very good chance to hit at all. Okay. The low skill not helping him out too much. Play using keyboard now because you got a blister the size of your thumb. Size of my head with thumbtack trying to be him type food on D pad. Oh god. That sounds awful. Yeah. I think he needs stick to play Behemoth. Or just not pad. Okay, so... Odysseus is gonna take that one. Was once a worm and so no head. Coming up next. More B clon. Evie's monster. It's a good pun. It's a good pun. Prediction is live. When it was once a worm was in fact once a worm. Did you uh, cocoon him to have an extremely slightly higher guts rate than normal? Or wait, no, you can't even. Because uh, Sloth Beetle has a faster guts rate than regular. Exact same stats? Yeah, that's a pretty common... To have minus 100 nature and no guard. Ah. That's, yeah, that's a good idea. 
you can get real creative when you're making monsters. 79% on Sono Head. Tramples him. Trample time. For an attack. Good damage into punch combo. Are you furious? Are you dead furious? Or just dead? Trample landing and then losing after that is such a bad feeling as Dragon. It's like I did everything right. A crit. A crit will do it. We're going to game three. Just like that. Just like that. Double horn strike. Into a trample. Do we see a grit? We don't see a grit. Sono head. Literally only use trample. It worked. Sono head's going to take that one too. Oh, that is the end of round one. Let me uh, update scores real quick. Okay, so now we go to round two. We got Rankin Smog and a Japanese monster. Where is the Japanese monster? There we go. Color Pandora. Oh god. We're top tiers. So let's go, baby. Okay, so people bet big on the dragon there. I don't think it was that one-sided. How are ya? I'm doing good, my man. How are you doing? Playing some Monster Rancher. Is there a max number of battle specials? Uh, no. I mean, there's a limit in that there's literally a finite number of battle specials, but you can have, like, a... Other than the ones that your monster is, like, legally locked out of because they're breed-specific, you can have all the other ones. Pixie Pandora is what helped me through your first Nuzlocke. It's, uh, it's a very strong monster. 80% of you agree. Is it just, it's just the build. Oh, Dragon Combo Opener, 35%. It's gonna be hard to come back from. Kamikaze does so much withering. Oh, it's also got two swings. I think the two swings pickup is pretty good. I like it, generally. Game two. Giant Whip opener, 399. Giant Whip seconder. Okay, yeah, we'll probably kill with that guts lead. Yep. Needed a grit the second time, or crit the second time, but. Probably needed a crit the first time, too. It just would have been crazy overkill. Game three, here we go. Kamikaze opener, good withering. Smog not getting angry. Does Smog have power? Oh. Does it grit? It doesn't grit. Just getting slapped around. You get to see the little the toe beans. You only get to see the toe beans when he loses. 2-1, the color Pandora takes it. Up next we got Ruby, Rose, and Blazonry. Ooh. We got a Durahan fight. Who is that? Fat Platypus, thank you. Thank you for the sub. Very kind of you. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, prediction is live. Rapid fire. Bing, bang, boom. Going through this. You want a Kato Joker with lots of special bread on it for maximum battle specials? Yeah. Yeah, you would. What about a Kato Joker color Pandora? That's, that's the best combo. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? A lot of brothers. Always vote JP. JP didn't make either of these, though. Will I ever do a video, a combining video and guide? Uh, yes, I do get that a lot, and yes, I will make one. But, uh, 
I think the first one I make is probably going to be for UKMR. I think there's more of a want for that than there is for the other ones, because the other videos already exist. Is there a color Pandora sub for anything? No. Is spending 2500 on brothers instead of betting a good investment? It might be. Vote against the one JP says it will. I didn't do it yet. That's true. That's true. Slash combo killer. If you guys saw Ruby Rose fight last time, it only used Deathbringer in the finals, and they won with it. Okay, now we're only using Death Slash, Dash Slash. That was that was quite the match. Anyway, it's over now. That was nuts, though. Rungnir and Yokai Watch up next. But yeah, people, if you have suggestions for videos, don't feel bad about asking, and don't worry if someone else has asked it before i don't mind and you know a lot of the time the people that offer suggestions actually offer suggestions for good videos that i end up making like the super bosses video was actually somebody asking like who would win in a fight between x and y and i was like why don't i just make a video on that prediction is live it just, it took me six months to make the video on it. The complete tech tier list video. Maybe we'll do that this week. Maybe we'll take a break from UKMR at some point and we'll do a complete tech tier list of every move in the game. Eight hour stream. Now roll assault. Roll Assault is better than Roll Assault, but I don't know if Roll Assault is quite as good as Roll Assault. But then you have to consider Roll Assault. You know? going would be a lot of that in the video. Write all the text in the game based on how easily you could perform them IRL. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, here we go. What do we got on the bet? 82% on Rungnir. Oh, well, the Brow Smash crit opener, 4 second match. Roll Assault. Something like that. Is there a mod to give every monster Nighton eyes, just like how Overwatch did on April Fool's Day? That'd be great, but no. Pretty sure I could do Cyclone. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm built different. I'm built out of rocks. Ooh, the brow hit. Rungnir takes that one. The flick build, pretty strong. Pretty hard to beat. Especially as a tank. Rungnir takes that one 2 0. Big Beat and Slimiest Max. Wait, Big Beat? I've heard that name before. Against the Speedy Monster. So, will, uh, will I hit the laser cutter? Will I hit the 30% laser cutter? Time will tell. Okay, prediction is live. Like I said off the hop yesterday, I don't really mind if he doesn't do particularly well maybe he rolls into two bad matchups maybe he gets bad rng twice in a row the fact he went 10 and 6 yesterday in uh, the round robin and you know he got lucky a couple times but he also got extremely unlucky a couple times so it about evened out 10 6 feels like a a pretty solid number and i'm pretty happy with that backing me thank you twiddling two irl oh god well, my head's on a, a swivel, so we got it. About 50-50 on the bets. Here we go. Stab doing a little bit of damage. Punch going to miss. Laser cutter 36. You know, he went for it. I respect it. I will always respect it. Angry. Stabs. Low kick miss. Gel press. Do we get a grit? We don't. Slimiest max dodges everything. To the max. Game number two. Hammerfall miss. Laser cutter miss. Well, when you're when you literally miss every attack, it's very hard to win. Suffocation, good damage, another suffocation. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You miss some 60s, you miss some 50s, you miss some 40s, you miss some 30s. It is what it is. Okay. 
Sometimes you just literally don't hit any attacks. DIY. Oh, that's right. We got Japanese monsters up next. Oh, no. I need your help. Burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. I think uh, my guy's got it. I think he can uh, he can make the loser's bracket run. He can make the victory road run. Oh, no. I need your help. Burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. You guys are laughing now, but you weren't laughing when I was kicking your ass yesterday. Okay. Throw some more bodies on the pile. Predictions live. Shut up. Is that my voice doing that clip? It. It's not. It's uh. It's strong bad doing a home star impression. You're laughing when I got techno. That's true. But you know sometimes. Sometimes you gotta you gotta give the underlings a win, whether or not it's deserved. Sunday, I want to play Strive? I'm probably working. I work weekends. I'm expecting Balboa to dodge everything today. Well, that'd be something. Anger's face down in the dirt post when he loses is so funny. He's just like he's completely destroyed. Here we go. Drill shots opener. What a build. The status miss. Two in a row. There's a punch. Good damage on it. Current stab hits too. Both in the green. Rear leg kick, 46%. That's going to miss. Give him a punch. DIY takes game one. Oh, whoops. So DIY takes game one. You ever punch a horse so hard it falls over? Yeah, once. Been kicked by a horse, does that count? No, that's that's like the exact opposite. Finally hits a punch, two punches, puts him in the yellow, three punches, and he's a dead fella. DIY wins 2-0. Photon Cannon. More hangers. And the other one is another Japanese monster. <laughs> oh, is this Ryu again? Come on, man. You gotta upload your monsters. Is uh, Ryu here? I'll skip the fight for now, but he keeps doing this. Can someone uh, hang them? It's... The monster won't have PH in their name, silly. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't actually count this. You can put whatever you want in here. If you have a search key, it overwrites this. Womp womp. You're on it. Okay. This is uh here. Let me post the name. Anyway, we'll do the next one while we're waiting. We got 10 junk bot in H2. I wanna play video games. Hey, Prime Number, thank you for the sub. Very kind. Thanks for supporting the channel. H2. S.
Okay. That went to DIY. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you like here? Eleven thousand on H two. Damn. We had a three hundred to one bet going on for a bit. It's now about twenty five to one, but three hundred to one would have been crazy. H two takes game one. And he takes the game two. GG's. He... I probably can't search on this alone. No, there's no way. Um, that'd be really funny if I could find it on that, but... I was never going to. Fairy hairs. Oh, a hair fight? Fairy hair Z. Next time on Fairy hair Z. Wait, this is Ravi. Wait, he didn't enter... Kick bro? Wait. No, he did for the other guy. That's right. You could have put two monsters in. Yeah, he did. Okay. That's right. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? Very similar builds. A little bit lower skill on fairy hairs. A little bit higher life. A bit more speed. A bit less power. Anyone says P11? Isn't P1 on the left? It doesn't say P11. I clicked P2. P. Thought I did it for the Gel Golem matchup last time. I, I just finalized it now. Yeah, we're all good. I didn't make a mistake. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, we got some spin kicking. We got some hard straighten. Would hit 200 damage though. Not the most powerful tech. Spin kick miss at 38. He is losing a little bit. Oh, hits another hard straight. Crits for 420. Harry Harris takes that one. Ravi likes his his hairs, eh? Goes for the high kick. Hard straight miss. Bang at 41. Oh my god. Just enough damage. Probably a damage roll. He takes that. That's a quick 2-0. Okay. Mateo and Annie up next. Okay, prediction is live. Been voting against the wave all night, and it's been pretty good. Did, well, I mean, betting against Tin Junk Bot would have made, or betting against H2 would have been kind of crazy, but it was not a very popular one. So even if you threw in like 10, you could have made like 200, 300 on it. I'm going to start betting on the monsters you want to lose. Use your power for evil. Holy. Can't imagine. Take the power away from him. Okay, here we go. Energy shots opener. Meteor at 37%. Oh, you know, he went for it. He doesn't have a good track record at going for things. He instantly loses because it missed, but, you know, at least he went for it. 
Triple stings is probably the play. Energy shot's okay too. Punch, definitely not. Ooh, yeah, use up all those guts. Here comes the two knocks. Damn, that crit, that's enough. Yeah, and he's gonna take that very quickly. Rosalina and a Japanese Mon. Sasha likes making undines, eh? Uh, okay. This is the right one, yep. Prediction is live, make your bets. All right, you're about to head out. You still got losers to go through, you know? Okay, so for Big Beat to win, for Big Beat to make top three, he's got to win one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got to win eight in a row. I think he can do it. Or he'll just lose the next one. He'll go 0-2 after doing incredibly well last night. Prediction, 66% on Rosalina. The two knocks. That's game one. Game two. Aquawaves misses. Oh, he's got triple knocks? That three knocks. He is the one who knocks. That was... That was a set. GG's. That's it. Softshell Stu and Kyle Keys up next. Soft Shell Stew the Dragon. Okay, prediction is live. Open up the door, it's real. Rattling three. Oh, that's what it's, uh... Oh, that's a kind of a cool name, then. He's knocking on the door three times. Million gases? Oh my god, imagine if Hare had that. 50-50 on the bets. Cut and two miss? Cut and two miss. A trample. Look at that, not even looking at him. I love how in this version of the game, Dragon can just be looking off into the sunset after he uses Trample. It's a little bit more normalized of him like actually f like facing forward in uh, Monster Rancher 2 proper, but in this, depending on the monster he's fighting, I think it stops rotation based on how tall the monster is. That's my that's my assumption. Is that it like Make some sort of contact, and then it's like, okay, now you stop the animation. And so for some monsters, he's facing backwards because it rotates even further. Softshell Stew's going to take that one. Strena and Shuma Gorath up next. Okay, predictions live. Intelligence hair studies how to produce the most noxious gas and nothing else. That's his specialty. You have to name the hair Beans Beans. Let me tell you a story about the hair named Beans that exists in uh, Lightweight. That's on Shuma. 82% on Shuma Gorath. People not liking Strana too much. Damn! 
Right out of the gate, eh? 175? Into the jab? Oh fuck, but he grits again. Keeps doing it into another jab combo, a root combo. Strana's mad none of you voted on Strana. We actually got the same number of people betting, it's just... 6 to 1 odds. Damn, slap for that much! It's the slap. Face shield 43, that's gonna whiff as well. Shumagorath has so many guts. It's the telekinesis, missed the second one. It's the third one though. <laughs> like how there's like the long miss animation, he's like, ah, nuts. And then he just swings it again. Game three, here we go. Spit. Root attack miss. Jab miss. Goes for the smooch. Strana up 40 guts. Now about 20 guts. Missed the face drill. Can't land anything. Oh, the IB missed the telekinesis miss. Nobody can land a damn thing. There's the telekinesis. 218 damage. Strana still in this. Hits the slap. Losing by a tiny bit. Goes for a second one. But it hits another grit. Shumagorath literally has not been KO'd yet. Without getting grit, I should say. But Strana's gonna win anyway. Strana gets the two slap for the win. Balboa and Odysseus next. Odysseus, eh? Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Got seventy five per cent on Odysseus. Slap miss on the 50. Brow hit hits though, 300 damage, would have killed on a crit. Hits him with a thrust claw. Oil fire 23? I'm just swinging now, eh? Another brow hit 8. 900 damage, damn. <laughs> That'll do it. Game 2. A oil spray into the Twister Claw, both missing. Punch at 47. Crits, but there's the grit. He's still in it. He's not dead yet. Dodge the punch. But he gets kicked. Gets given the boot. Balboa is going to take that one. Benny Gesserit and Equitatus up next. Togo, or Tog, thank you for the follow. We got a Trotter. Fiction is live. That sounds like a slur. We got these Trotters hanging out. Get out of here. No Trotters allowed. This man's trotting. I love that part for the Odyssey where Golem kicks the Cyclops right in the face. Yeah, it's my favorite part too. Trotters have Chad energy. Going winning the pool style and wearing a shirt with no pants is like, that's a power move. Miss the Meteor Drive. Splash? Oh, you don't get to play the game now. Oh, kind of a waste of your guts, Benny. Another splash? Okay. You know, as long as you keep doing it, it's fine. Side really is the speed side compared to the first middleweight play-ins. Yeah. It was like all tanks. Oh, also he wins. He hits the crit turn stab. That's it. The 
The double splash again. That's not what Ben wants. Didn't know there's other Undine subtypes. Yeah, there's the. Uh, this is it. And then there's the special breed one. There's the mermaid that you got from the, the Little Mermaid soundtrack. Really kick. It's not going to be enough though. The Undine's going to take it. Going to game three. Old fog for a tiny bit of damage. Tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. Down to half health. Meteor drive misses. Ooh. This arrow gonna do 300 damage. Proxy anger. Rear leg kick misses. Proxy ease. Turn stab only at 40%. Another ice arrow. Undine takes that one. Keep shooting the horse in the face. He'll fall down eventually. Okay, so Bahamut and... So no head up next. Dragon fight. Oh shit, it's a magma heart? Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? A siren would be a change of pace at least. Mad's like, please, there's only so many ways I can draw an Undine. Yeah, well. You know who to argue to. Oh, uh, Shells, did we get uh, a comment yet? A response yet? Sixty six percent on Bahamut. Trample lands eight hundred damage. Gets real? Damn. You know and slamming down only does that one might have been one of the best real procs I've ever seen in my life. Because one of the things that's like often not talked about on Real is that it actually lowers the amount of withering you take while it's active, as well as damage. Slamming down usually withers for about like between 36 and 40, or like something around there, or like 35 to 45, because I think it has 40 withering. So that shit did 18, which is almost the minimum roll. That was what Bahamut needed to get back into it. It's another trample? Okay. <laughs> Perfect real proc, trample, trample, trample. Well, that'll do it. Mix up and flower trip up next. I like both these mons a lot. I do think one has an innate advantage in this matchup, though. Low life golem, you already know. But what's the mix up? Oh, if you're new, you might not know what the mix up is. Unlucky for my opponent, GG's. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta take them. Love Magma Heart not bold enough to build one. What's stopping you? Got Fist Missile instead. Goes for the Diving Press. That's the mix-up. It's got a 55 Guts move in slot 4, so it doesn't attack immediately. It's the Brow hit. Prox Anger. Group combo gonna kill. He's still in it. Another Brow hit's not enough. Face rolled 62. Ooh, dodges it. A diving press when you only have to do 100 damage. Mix up wins that one. That's a quick set. Okay. So mix up 2-0. Going on to the next round. We're still waiting for that uh, a Japanese player. I think it's Ryu to post their, their stuff. But uh, we'll get to it later. Okay. Ruby, Rose, and... What was this monster? 
I, I'm forgetting what all the Japanese monsters are. So many. Is it this one? Yep. Oh, the color Pandora. Against Ruby Rose? Okay. Prediction is live. Just realized that last JP monster is the model hair, which I think is based on the Koshin champ. Oh yeah, it's the one that we were talking about. It isn't the exact one, but it's got a very similar stats spread and build. Still working on your fanged mask. Maybe if I raise them well enough, you can enter in a tournament. Nothing's stopping you. Even if you don't enter, even if you don't raise it well enough, you know, you might get lucky. Nothing's stopping you. I think people have, and like, I think this has something to do with me coming from like a fighting games background. And there is a assumption when you don't play fighting games, that everybody, when they learn a game, they spend like a billion hours in training mode before they go play. And that's just simply not the case. Uh, most players, myself included, although I do like labbing stuff out, and I find labbing stuff out in training mode is very fun and cathartic, so that's a part of the game I enjoy. Uh, most of the time, if I get a new game, I'll spend like 20 minutes in training mode, figure out what my buttons are, and then I'll go play. I'll go play people. And I'll get beat up a little bit because other people have either played the game already or whatever. And then I'll go back into training mode and figure out what I need to fix. And it's the same sort of thing with this. You don't need to like make like a top tier, like a, an A1 monster on your first attempt. You're never going to improve if that's your goal for your first monster. Some people kind of luck into it. Or maybe you just follow a guide and you just build the thing that's the known quantity or the known entity, I should say. But the much quicker path to like becoming a, a good player in competitive play is to just enter your first monster, and if it sucks, you figure out what you did wrong. You take a look at some of the other monsters, you change some stuff up. You don't need to have a groundbreaking strategy. You don't need to come into this being like, oh, I figured out something nobody else has ever done before. It's like, no, a lot of people know what they're doing, and there's no, uh, no shame in just stealing from them, you know? Yeah, no? No problem with that. The double face attack. Strongest move in the game. Hits the slash combo, though. Oh, there's a Rit. Color Pandora still hanging in there. Another slash combo. Oh my god, that is so ballsy and very funny. I'm a fan of it. Giant Whip lands, it crits. The grit comeback. Also, you can make a great monster and it can just lose. Like we were talking about yesterday or earlier today, my monster lost its first round. It went like ten and six in uh, in viewer matches last night, and Ruby Rose, monster who won the last uh, middleweight tournament it was in, is now in losers. You know, it just happens. Rung near and slimiest Max up next. Would you guys be interested in me uploading the fight nights? Like, edited it down so it's just like... The monster... Plus a lot of fights. I, I don't think I would do it for just random fight nights, but I think I would do it as like a showcase for specific monsters. So like, I think it'd be a good... One to do for... Um, Big Beat, like we just did last night. Upload it, edit it down. I think it could be fun. Yeah, predictions live. I tried on like the Zilla video and the Arrowhead and the Mochi video. I have a couple of fights at the end of it just because, you know, I don't want to have me end it and be like, and there you go. There's a competitive monster. And then it ends with like no actual payoff. But I think uploading the actual fight night of instead of like more than two matches, I do like the dozen or whatever we did. As maybe a separate video. 
so I could upload uh, how to build Anger competitively, the and then have a separate video that's like the fight night for Big Beat, maybe. What's the fourteen ninety nine stat cap called? And is it the lowest? Fourteen hundred, and it's called lightweight, and it is the lowest. Yeah. Okay, fifty three percent on slimiest max. Well, my guy couldn't do that. Rungnir is built different. Spike top lands. Good crit for 560. Proxy Anger. Rungnir's got a good shot to win it right here. Hits him on the coin flip. Rungnir takes game number one. Number two, here we go. Brow Smash is crazy. Because when it hits, it feels great. And when it misses, it's like, I am, I am now fearful of my life. Slap doesn't kill. Slimy Max might as well be at full health still. Spike Top is going to take that one. We're going to game three. The thing is, as a tank, when you're fighting a speedster, you need to get the kill. As a tank, you always need to get the kill regardless, but against a speedster, if you leave them with like 10 HP, you might as well have not hit them. Like, you need to hit them again. Slimy Max is going to take that. Okay, we're still waiting on the next one. H2 and Fairy Hair Z. I don't mind waiting for people to enter their monsters as long as it doesn't hold up bracket. Okay, prediction is live. It's one thing if they like upload the monster and it's the wrong monster. Like there's a couple of times where like it happened with uh was it Jillian the monster or Gillian that was overstatted. And there was like a, a properly statted version of that monster. I think that was a Lynx monster, right? Where I don't know that they have like a properly statted version, so I just think it's wrong. And so we do the fight and he gets the loss. But if it just doesn't show up at all and you've given me a code, it means that you just haven't uploaded it, right? So I'll wait because I know that monster exists. 62% on Fairy Hair Z. Gelcopter miss. And that's it. Fairy Hair Z with the low skill too, eh? No. Well, going to game three. That was a three game set. Seem all of Ryu mon Ryu's monsters have changed. Yeah, he probably has a million files. I managed to do all my guys on one file. I don't know how I managed it. A and E and oh god. We have a Soberos duel. You guys better have saved some of your points for brothers because this is the most brother fight you could have. Okay, it's Oberos. It begins. I know most Japanese players have a save file for their max stat mons. I think, uh... I think Line will have a competitive scene. It's just that competitive in mobile games works very differently than it does in other games. It'll probably be much more cutthroat, and you'll probably see much, much less monster variety because people are just going to be like, I'm just going to raise the thing that's the best because, you know, everyone else is also doing that. So you're going to see a lot of rippers if Naga is still strong, for example. It's going to look just like the, the Koshin over and over again. Okay. People don't like Annie in this. What the hell? The three knocks is too strong. Two knocks is too strong. Oh, there's the grit. Should have used the third. He used the third, he would have been down for the count. 
How do you like it? How about that, huh? Nay? Eh? A and E takes game number two. The needle stabs, but it doesn't kill. The chin kills. The flattening, a little bit of damage there. Goes for double flattening. Charge miss. Charge hits. A and E is gonna take it. All he needs the basics. He is a basic B, but he takes it, and he will be moving on. Duo. Soft shells two and Strena up next. I really like, oops, I like how much the, the meta, especially in Japan, changed after people started running uh, uh, low life golem, like anti-tank golem, and everyone's just like, I don't want to fight that shit, so I am just going to run speed now. And it's funny because that's, that's how the meta changes. A lot of these speed monsters would probably do badly against, or not badly, but they wouldn't do particularly well against uh tank monsters or not even that they wouldn't do particularly well but it's like probably a 50 50 matchup but the reason they're so popular is because there's a threat somewhere else in the meta and that's that's the really interesting thing to me is how metas change like that the speed monsters are just as strong as they've ever been but as soon as someone enters this one anti-meta pick you're like okay you know what let's let's start doing that one a little bit more Ever doubt anime protagonist Penguin? He knows. A cocooned proper 2997 with three knocks? Insane. Yeah, it's, uh... That's how they, uh... Fuck, that's rough. I didn't actually see what it was cocooned from. Was it the same guts rate? I didn't even notice. Because if it was a red worm, then yeah, that that's really... Really difficult to pull off. Okay, 70%. Hot Chick Heaven? Perfect example. Group combo. Was anti meta for one tourney? Everyone's like, you know what, let's. That's the thing I have to worry about. Also, trample at 30%? That's the thing you gotta worry about. Holy fuck. Strana gets the grit, though. He's got 40 guts lead. Plant combo at 27. He's like, I can do that shit too. Slap miss. Slap miss. Oh my god. It's like laser cutter last night. Soft shell stew. Soft shell shoe. Uh, kind of killing him. Balboa and Benny up next. Prediction is live. Talking about people just bringing the most powerful monsters. I see that a lot in Pokemon. Get sick of seeing the same team. Yeah, but it's different with Pokemon than it is with this. Because in Pokemon, you still have player skill within the batch, right? So two people can pilot the same team very differently. There's obviously algorithmic play that is offset a tiny bit by um, RNG. But this, it's like you have no actual control. So it becomes really boring when everyone's playing the same thing. 65% on Benny, eh? Flash lands. Ice arrow miss. Brow hit, it'll still kill. This is at 44%. Another splash! Oh my god, not very accurate, but it is doing so much work for Benny right now. Can Golem go against his precious Undine though? I don't know. This one, uh, this one's a different one. The forehead's a different size. Oh, it's the brow hit. There's the grit. The double grit. Icicle arrow, it's going to land at zero. Benny needed to land that because she would have lost on the grit tie. Game number two. 
and GG's. A lot of 36% landing. That's that's the magic number. That's been the magic number in Monster Rancher. Bahamut and the mix-up. Oh, it's just mix-up. Hey, Corey, thank you for the follow. Okay, prediction is live. Gotta watch out for the mix-up. Okay, after this, there's one more match. I guess two more matches, technically. And then I have to award Photon Cannon the win against uh, Reuse Monster in winners. Because we need to find out who's in top 8 before we go down to losers. Did you get away with just drawing a forehead? It's just like purple. 72 on mix-up. 72 on mix-up. Misses. There's the uppercut. That's big damage. He's angry. He's dead. That's what happens. Sometimes when you get angry, things don't work out. A diving press. It's gonna take it. It's gonna take it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, so mix up moves on. We have the color Pandora and Slimiest Max. What is the color Pandora, dude? I it's so hard with these Japanese names. I'm so happy people are entering the tournament. It's a good problem to have, you know? And I'm sure we'll have more of it in uh, Ultra Kaiju. Oh, whoops. Okay, prediction is live. Day one at two nine 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 seven format. I think we're gonna have that. Uh, we're gonna have a tournament a couple of days in. Bad matchup. Yeah, that was a pretty rough matchup. Fifty fifty. Here we go. Two speedy boys. Suffocation miss. Ah, oh, smooshes him though. Puts him in the yellow. He's trying for that suffocation. Kamikaze at 65. Ooh, it misses two in a row. Second one hits and it crits. Color Pandora is going to take game number one. Game number two. Kamikaze opener. A little bit of self damage there. Suffocation still like 0 for 4. Ice attack can do a little bit of damage. Stab gonna do a little bit of damage. 200 each. Ooh, in the yellow. Dodges the third one. Two swings is gonna miss. We got stabs. Spike top. Looking pretty nice. Goes for regular old gel top. Is it enough? It crits. Didn't need the crit for the kill. Base attack misses. Two seconds left. Two whips gonna run down the clock. Slimiest max takes game number two. Pretty crazy. Gel press, 418. The two swings, the four swings. Ooh, the crit. It's just enough. Color Pandora wins it. Slimiest Max in losers.
Okay, A and E and soft shell. Lot of speed monsters. How many tanks do we have in the top eight right now or top sixteen? Speed speed. Don't know. Speed, 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 speed. We don't have a single tank. We don't have a single tank up here. They're all in losers. Running speed monsters feels really good until you get hit a single time against a tank and then you're like, I fucking hate this. <laughs> I have made some mistakes. 62% on Annie. Soft Shell Stu cannot miss that move. I... you know... Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Moving on. Benny Gesserit up next. And mix up. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Clifford the big red dog is kaiju. That's actually true. You want to raise a tyrant super badly? Yeah, tyrant's fun. He's got such like a little baby head. Like even among golems, his head looks like especially small because of how pointy it is. 70% on Benny. Okay, four second KO. Game two. Uppercut miss. Nice clear arrow again. The punch lands, it's not enough to kill though. Gives him power. Who goes for another punch? Good play. It <laughs> goes for diving press, does nine damage to itself. Oh boy, water gun's gonna be enough. Benny wins that one. So we got some killers and losers, eh? Okay, so unfortunately I have to give Ryu's monster the loss. So we got DIY and Photon Cannon up next. We have a hangar fight. Ooh, intelligence, eh? Hey, prediction is live. DIY does have the one hit kill potential with those drill shots frame one. They both got pretty low skill. DIY's is a little bit higher than his opponents, but that guts correction, that guts tear and proton cannon is going to help him out a little bit more. Or photon cannon, I should say. Proton cannon. Infinity. Like how ridiculous Michael's work looks? Yeah. I'm just calling him Michael. It's cool seeing Proto. Proto's sick. Okay, here we go. 65%. He hits it. Game two. He's only got moves in one slot. Holy Christ. Yeah, this is going to be rough for him to win. He gets power. It's pushed back. Power arm cannon can do it. Only having attacks in slot 3 is so terrifying. What are you going to do? Yeah, that... Oh, he grits. He's still in it. They're swinging. One intelligence attack? No. That's a, that's a rough build. That's a rough build in this matchup. 
Okay, DIY versus fairy hair is next. Prediction is live. An interesting thing uh, about competitive play that I don't think we really talked about before is that where you have your tech situated actually affects your opponent's efficacy with their attacks. If you have stuff in slot 1 and 4 like DIY did on the outsides, um, you're stalling in those locations and then the monster's AI is usually programmed to walk immediately after an attack happens. For both of them, for the most part. Unless they attack multiple times. For something like drill shots, it costs too much to attack to, twice in a row, right? Um, and so what happens is he fires the drill shots, and then they just walk forward. And then they attack in slot 1, and then they walk backwards, and they attack in slot 4. They walk backwards, and they attack in slot 1. So it's like this wave pattern, and... If you only have attacks in slot 3, you're probably not going to attack. It's kind of rough. Outsiders also have the power of Kevin Nash on their side. It's why we won so handedly. What's really crazy is I didn't get to watch much of the last round of Outsiders versus Insiders, but Insiders won like every match in the last round. It was going to be such a one-sided like tournament and then it still was at the end, but it wasn't nearly as embarrassing as it would have been. Because they won like every round, every fight in that last round. I'm pretty happy with how uh, young Sheldon did in that. Didn't win the tournament, but you know, he did good. The double low kick, it's not enough. Fairy Hairs is still in it, but the triple low kick is enough. The grit isn't going to matter. No time left on the clock. Like your worm build? Yeah, it was fun. I found the young Sheldon VOD. I don't I I genuinely don't remember calling it that. Normally I'll watch back a VOD and I can like predict what I'm about to say because you know it happened and it's still kind of fresh in my memory. But watching the young Sheldon one back, I was like, I don't know how I like that's what I landed on. Drill shots, not enough damage. Needed the crit. Got such a good chance to crit, but uh not enough. Straight one more will do it. Oh, he backs off. Into the bang? Doesn't need to do it, but he does it anyway. Fairy hair Z. Moving on. The top eight. So. Okay, we got Fairy hair Z, Soft Shell Stew, Benny Gesser, and the Japanese Color Pandora currently in winner's top eight. We are going to go down to losers. We're going to run through all of that. We got quite a bit of losers to go through. We're only halfway through the tournament at this point. Slightly less. Um, so I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to get some water and I will be right back. Let me uh, get some music playing for you.
Spies got me. Man, I gotta start taking breaks that are longer than literally 45 seconds. Just so you guys, you know, I, I think I've been spoiling you. You know how hard it is to do four or five hour streams constantly with like less than a minute break total in the whole thing? I took two minutes to stretch my legs and go get water and talk to my wife. The spies got me. What is this? Just, just feel lucky I don't play five minutes of ads when I leave, you know? Okay. Uh, 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 let's take a look at bracket real quick. So we're in loser side now. We got Flower Trip and Beaker coming up next. Equitatus and Joffrey B. I'm not going to name all the names, but you can see for yourself. I've got, ooh, I've got kind of a killer bracket. Eddie into Yokai Watch, the Strenum. Into DIY, I gotta fight the other hanger if I make it this far. I might have to fight Slimius again. I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta win many, 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 many times to make it, but I believe in my boy. Flower Trip and Beaker up next. I'm not denying spies though. You know, I'm not at liberty to say. Okay, so Flower Trip. Beaker. Uh, who won that last one? That was Fairy Hair's one. Or, or yeah, Fairy Hair's one. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Beaker does have that anti tank build. It didn't help him out too much last time. Well, let's see if it can do it this time. I think maybe one day if we all had an all plant tournament, we could have a plant win. I think plant versus plant is like. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like plant versus like mochi is probably like a 40 30 matchup. Like both monsters lose. 46% on the plant, 54 on Beaker. Pretty even. Okay, still gonna do a little bit of damage, a little bit of withering. But here comes the flying press, give him the smoosh. 744. Flower trip's angry. Root attack. <laughs> sure. Not that it mattered in the slightest, because that move does less than no damage, but goddamn. First 99 miss of the day. Or second, I think. Second of the day, I think. I have assault on a crit. It's still doing decent damage with the guts lead. Pretty solid amount of withering. Oh my god, the crit plant combo. Flower Trip, pretty pissed about that 99 miss. Game three. It's a dive assault again. Root combo. Oh, nice crit there. Into another one. No crit that time. Horn smash. Give him the bonk. It crits. Needed the crit for the kill. Beaker wins with the bonk. I'm sorry, Flower Trip is out already. Flower Trip is a... I'm a, I'm a fan of it. Equitatus and Joffrey be up next. Okay, prediction is live. First one eliminated, let's go. I might be right there with you, brother. Ah, boy. It's one of those nights. 2997 is one of those formats. Sadly, Joffrey couldn't finish. Is Joffrey yours? The intelligence attacks hold him back a little bit. Beat Dance. First Meteor Drive. One of those does a lot of damage. The other one is Beat Dance. Crits for 500. Turn stab. What? Good crit damage. Rear leg kick. Equitate is only using the weak tax. Still putting on a show. Another beat dance might do it on a crit. Triple stabs. Ooh. Joffrey B just sitting there on 70 guts doing nothing with it. Yeah, Joffrey's yours. Game two. Meteor drive opener. 655. 
Hit him with the kick. You know, hit him right in the front of the horse. We all know. We all know that's the weakest part of the horse. A punch? Ooh, two in a row? Give him three. Give him three. Well, he gave him three. But it was, uh, it was the wrong three. Equitatus gonna win that one. Odysseus A. And Salako up next. Oh yeah, Salako's in losers round one too. This is such a stacked bracket. Holy hell. So many strong monsters in round one. Okay, prediction is live. Had to have a weapon throw today? Yeah, had to. What do you like? And reached the end of his life because you were trying to stress him out to the max? That, it is difficult. On stream, we did it yesterday. You have to, like, plan ahead. I had, like, 18 weeks left at the end of mine. I didn't even end up with max um, loyalty. I had, like, 90-something. Okay. Okie dokie. 90% on Odysseus. Oil fire twice in a row? Still living though. When you attack miss, it's 68. Jesus. Wow. Hit him again. Shoot him again, cause I can see his soul dancing. Two wing attacks in a row. I'll take him. The bite doing more than half. Prox anger. Oh, bad time for anger. Good time for anger. Wow. Prox the fury. Twister claw is gonna hit. Block was not gonna be able to use fury, but he's still in it. Another oil fire. Oh my god, Odysseus will not stop attacking. Trample at 37! Swings it, but it misses. Another Twister Claw. There's the Grit. Seven seconds left. Slash Claw gonna kill. Sulaco goes down. What a play. Gets Anger into the Smoke Breath immediately. Just it, a terrible play turned into a godlike play. Back to back. Sulaco is out. Shuma Gorath. And Dance Monster, or not Dance Monster, uh, Ryu's Monster. Wait, is that what's next? Yeah, so we'll wait. We'll do Rosalina and Cool Runnings first. Prediction is live. Travels a tech where you hate going against it, but when you use it, it feels so powerful. Yeah. It's just, it's great tech. Softshell Stew in it to win it? Yeah, he's, uh, he's killing it right now. He uh, landed, I want to say, like 12 tramples in a row <laughs> to get to where he is against speed monsters. Icicle Arrow wins game one. That'll do. Game two. Seed Gatling. Sure would have killed. Icicle Arrow wins game two. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's the part that sucks about running a speed monster in 2997. You can't survive anything. Okay, we got he and we got whiskey.
And whiskey is by grandpa. Low skill build against a speed build again. He didn't get to fight a tank. Very unfortunate. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Proof that archery is better than guns? You know? Who am I to say? Who am I to argue? Whiskey by Grandpa. He's been making bathtub pooch again. Bathtub pooch? Because it's a dog? Get it? William told that plant. William told off. Okie dokie. What do we got? 90% on the hair. That's probably fair. Gus Breath at 16% misses. And he's probably out of it now. It's the hard straight. 1% diving press. It could hit. Once punch is going to take it. He's got the grit. He's still in. You know, I appreciate it. 25 guts. What's he got? With Gus Breath. Another diving press. And diving press is the only thing he could have won with. So, 1% or not. Roll the dice. He wins game one. Ooh, the charge at 6%. I don't think Whiskey will be able to hold onto that lead for super long. No, definitely not. But it was something. He's not out of it yet. Kung Fu Kick is going to miss. Going to give Whiskey a good chance to land it. He hits the Dust Cloud. It doesn't kill. 18 seconds left. He can still bring this back. Oh, the Gust Breath at 17. He got hit by everything there. Rough. Get it? Diving Press miss immediately. Into the gas. Kung Fu Kick misses. One Two Punch doing a little bit of damage. Spin Kick miss. Ooh. Oh, that hurts. So now he can't win without a KO, really. Hard Straight misses. He is going to win that one. 2 1. Whiskey won a game, though. Good for him. Whiskey's a go go into the pound after that one, though. Uh. Wait, it's. Or no, it has to fight uh, Ryu's monster. Shumagorath has to fight someone completely different. So we'll do Shuma next. I think it's this. Yep. The Pixie, the one life Pixie. Well, two extremely low life monsters, but one is extremely, extremely low life, and the other one has, you know, at least a little bit. The reason you would potentially go for the one life build over something like a 197 life build, even though those points in speed are completely wasted, is because if she gets grit, she goes back to full health. against the JP Mono wasn't uploaded? No, it was the other one. Okay, 94% on the Pixie. 37,000. Well, three second KO. Oh my god. 17 to 1 odds against Shumagorath. That is maybe the quickest I've seen someone lose 30,000 chips. Had your points for too long? Well, you know, you donated them to a good cause. God damn. Ultra G and Japanese monster up next. What's the other guy? You should have seen the other guy. There. 
the Pixie Centaur. That's right. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Better redistribute the wealth. Lexi mode. Lexi once came into chat and dropped like 100,000 chips and lost and was like, okay, well, whatever. And then later on that night, she like dropped like another 75,000. I think she won that one though, but high rollers. People are lurking that aren't always betting. Those are the ones you got to look out for. They're dangerous. Wish you'd been on main to bet. 17 to 1 payout. Pretty hype. Okay. Smash hits. Magic punch missed. We see a death thrust? We do see a death thrust. Get him, get him. 978 damage. Big damage on that move. I like how the the Therius's fur kind of looks like a carpet. Speaking of which, she's laying down now. Going to game three. Triple stabs can do a little bit. Ooh, good crit. Left jab miss. Rear leg kick, not gonna do a whole lot. Triple stabs again. Not doing too much. Left jab, doing 200. Magic punch miss at 47%. Pretty close to point flip. Hits the 42. Ultra G's moving on. G wins that one 2-0. Or 2-1. Okay. It comes down to this. Can Big Beat do the thing or is he just going to instantly burn out? If he instantly burns out, you know, I got no stress for the rest of the night. But if he wins... I, I get to clench for at least a little bit more. Uh, Tim, the duckin. Oh, the low skill duckin with the intelligence moves. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? It's spooky. It's a spooky matchup. Reminds me, those Voris Valaho paintings. On the sides of vans. I don't know who that is. I I I have a feeling I understand like what you're talking about, but yeah. I just don't know the guy's name. Okay. Fifty nine percent on big beat. Let's go, baby. No frantic beam. Punch misses. Laser cutter thirty three. One of these days, Big Beat's gonna land an attack, and it's gonna be incredible. Prox Anger on the Falling Beak. Is your cutter 39? Eddie's giving you so many chances to attack Big Beat. 17 seconds left. Kick miss at 53. Hammerfall at 41 misses. Big Beat still has not landed a single attack this entire tournament. Heavy chop miss on the coin flip. This is actually upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy fuck, come on. Land one attack. There you go. Landed the one attack. Going to game three. Oh boy. Okay, he landed the one laser cutter. I can die happy. Surprising to take away a lot of guts. But, uh, you know, an anger keeping him in it. Push him into the beam shower range. A little bit of damage. Kick lands, though. 29 seconds left. Falling Beak. Not what Eddie wants to do. It is what Big Beat wants to do, though. Beak Thrust. 15 seconds. Crit there. Oh, hits the hammer. Falls. 700 damage. Big Beat wins. He woke up. He woke up. Mad about a dance? I'd be mad about that dance, too. Man's twerking on me. How dare he? 2-1. Big Beat does it. So, No Head and Beaker up next. He got kind of lucky with how many times his opponent used power attacks, but he really didn't want to win the way he was playing. Start a prediction. Here we go. Predictions live. Twerk Duckin? Oh god. Twerk Duckin's a great. Skip to your match? Which one's your match? 
was once a worm? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that one next. My bad, my bad. It was cut off on the bottom of the screen. You don't get to play. Eight hundred and thirty. Eight hundred. What the fuck? My number. I don't know numbers. It's not eight hundred and thirty percent. It's eighty-three percent. Eighty-three percent on Sono Head. Trample opener. In the smoosh. Beaker's been in this situation once before. Seven hundred damage. Look at the same amount of guts. Who's gonna win? Heavy punch. Not enough. Caleb will take it. Sono Head takes it. game number one. Game number two. Same opener. Gets power. Oh, he's got power? Oh my god, that's terrifying. Fury? Holy shit. The tail attack. Sono Head's still gonna take it. Almost enough, but it wasn't enough. Never enough, no. Blazonry and was once a worm up next. Beaklon into Beaklon action. Prediction is live. Beaker's like, I can do it too, yeah. We can both smoosh. Trample, turn assault, diving press, duck, dive, and dodge. Issue you found with tank Beaklon is that it starts in slot 3. There's so much killer stuff in slot 3. Yeah, it's kind of an issue. Unless you make them baby sized. Slash. These guys started in slot four. Punch combo. Give him the three piece. Oh my god. This is going to do 4,000 damage. But he grits it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about your power. Oh, punch combo. Get him. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? That was nuts. Game two. How do you keep a monster baby size while hitting a higher stat cap? Um, combination. That's going to kill straight up. Combination and then give it peaches to figure that shit out. Yeah, you have to hit a higher sack cap when you're still young. It's hard. It's much harder in this game than it is in Monster Rancher 2 proper because in that one you can just have infinite uh, lifespan with magic bananas. Not so much in this. Okay, so it was once a worm is gonna take that one 2 1. Equitatus and Odysseus, eh? Coming up next. Okay, that went to was once a worm. Prediction is live. Thank you, bets. Hard part of keeping them young is having time to both raise and lower stats. JP Monster's been uploaded. Thank you. Well, we waited. So he'll get to fight in losers at least. Is the the codes the same, I assume. We'll do that after this one. Glad they made it. Yeah, unfortunately, they only get to fight the one time, but we did have to to move on, you know. Meteor drive opener misses. Smoke breath. Do it again. I'm going to put some smoke in your eye. Oil spray. Oil Spray is like one of the craziest anti-tank attacks in the game. It's so cheap for what it does. Just insane withering and like pretty solid damage. 28 guts. 
28 Guts is expensive on Kato. Like, don't get me wrong, but it's great. I think Power Kato is much better. You'd be right to assume that. It's, uh, it is much more consistent. Ooh, the Rush Slash, the one-hit kill. Game 2 coming on up. I actually prefer Power Kato to Intelligence Kato. I think there's more variety you can do in its builds. Oh my god, lands of the... That... That move? That move? Meteor Drive? He'll take it. Kyle, Kisk, 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 and uh, Shumagorath coming up next. Kyle K. Holy Order starts playing. That's exactly what that song sounds like. Okay, predictions live. Make your bets. I think the intelligence moves are just cooler. I really like stuff like the turn claws. The turn claws line is really fun, especially the the level three one. What's the? It's turn claw, turn claws, and then what's the final one called? Rolling claw or something? Shouldn't it be the Japanese monster in Shuma? No. You haven't been paying attention, JP. Seventy-eight percent on Shuma. Dash slash miss. I beam for five nineteen. Give him the smooch. He gives him the smooch. It doesn't kill though. Kyle's still in it. About to punch a hole in some drywall or some eye wall, as it were. All hopped up, hopped up on monster and holy orders. Rush Slash, that's going to do it for game two. We're going to game three. I beam opener 649. Deathbringer at 38, it hits, but he grits. Wow, what a way to put yourself in a shitty situation. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, both monsters can attack. Here comes the kiss. Kyle's going to have a hard time coming back from this one. It's the Deathbringer, though. That's pretty hype. You know, even if you lose, hitting the Deathbringer is a win in a way. But in a much more specific way, it's a loss. Who's next? Mateo and Rosalina. Intelligence fight. Prediction is live. Be f be just or be dead. Yeah, exactly. Deathbringer is such a cool move. You're still awake. Let's go. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are significantly behind schedule from where we normally are. We'll probably go to about twelve thirty again tonight. But if we get some really fast matches. Maybe we'll get there a little bit sooner. Sixty-eight percent on Rosalina. Energy shot miss. Old Fog going to do a tiny bit into the Ice Arrow. It's going to do a little bit as well. It's that one. Minus 27 Guts. And the Punch. Wouldn't be a Mateo fight if it wasn't throwing up Punch. Ooh. Takes the lead. Ice Sword. Not what Rosalina wants. Definitely what Mateo wants. Ice Sword's going to hit again. Oh, the Foolery! Oh. Rough. Okay, Rosalina takes game number one. Energy shot miss. Arrow hits. Arrow hits again. Angry. We haven't seen triple stings yet. We almost never see triple stings. He tried it and he got foolery again. What is this guy's... Oh, there you go. Yeah, what is this guy's uh, loyalty at? I'm going to check real quick. His loyalty is 99. That is so unfortunate. Oh my god. The two fooleries? That's awful. That's so unfortunate. Triple Stings would have won it. 
Pin Junkbot and He coming up next. Rest in peace, Mateo. Too beautiful for this world. Okay. The low skill. Man, he is running to... A low skill monster like every time. Every single one of its fights. Prediction is live. About to head out. I'm sorry. It's horrible. That's very unfortunate. The forehead menace claims another victim. It do, it do be claiming. Okay, we got 90% on he. You have to work hard to get that KO. Tin Junkbot has not a very good chance to hit. Roll us all that 10. E not really what he wants. The one two punches, proccing ease into the spin kick. The crit spin kick will do it. Every time you see Gobi, I think. From the anime, it's just meek little lackey doing its best. Yeah, he's just like a, a little goober in uh, the anime. Mummy's slapping him around. Punch miss, kung fu fist, doing a decent damage. Gas for a little bit. This is gonna be really hard for Tin Junkbot to win, but he can. We saw he lose to. Uh, Whiskey with uh, the extremely low skill. He's got power. He needs one hit. One shot. One opportunity. Uh, he let it slip. Not supposed to let it slip. And he doesn't even bother attacking. He's like, you know what? I can't kill in one hit. I give up. The hair wins. Okay, now we got to do the very, very small two-fight gauntlet. We've got... Reuse monster. Oh. Okay, did he upload it with a different... Okay, there we go. He did upload it with a different name. So we got it here. The the mono hair, yeah, that's right. And who was the other one? Sent you the code in Discord, yeah. Thank you, I saw it. And Ornoa, okay. Oh whoops. Prediction is live, make your bets. Macho, how are you doing? You're late, but we're also late, so don't worry about it. Ended up sleeping all day, slept through your job. What is this? Hey, it's that guy who made that awesome challenge forcing me to play the game without cheats. Damn, Macho's famous, look at that. 97% on the hair wall. The fuzzy wall. Missed the snowstorm. 20%. That's right. Or no, it has no skill either. Ooh, Ice Spice doing big, big grip. It's the flattening. Cold Breath has a decent chance to hit. I think it's not great, but it's something. Ooh, hits it. Or no, it takes game number one. That wall did not get a single attack on. Very unfortunate. Had a pretty good chance to hit, too. No storm miss at 20. Wall's got a good shot. Knock at 60. Give him the bonk. It's enough damage. Knock is such a good tech, man. It's the flattening. Ice spikes at 20 lands again. Get some charges in. Needs one more. Ooh, the grit. Oh, the grit comeback or Noah's gonna take it. 
Well, that's a that's a big payout for people betting on Ornoa because nobody wanted to there. Two one for Ornoa. Okay, uh, we got Yokai Watch and Big Beat up next. Okay, big beat. Don't go one and two. If you win this one, you at least go 50-50. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Never raise the Jill. When does it grow arms? Um, they're just hiding inside uh, like a coat when it's walking around. I had a really good day at work. I actually just dead tired from sore from climbing into my house last night. Oh my god. Man had to sleep it off. You know, when I was in college, I'm going to tell the story quick. When I was in college, there was this guy who, like, we, we all kind of thought he was lazy. Great guy. Great guy. But, like, at school, like, he seemed kind of lazy. Like, I've worked with him in, afterwards in the industry, and he's not. But that's the impression everyone got. And he missed an exam once, and his excuse for missing the exam was he went out to the car to eat a sandwich and fell asleep. And everyone was like, "That's that ch that tracks. That's the most typical thing I can think of. And that story of doing a thing yesterday made you sleep all day today made me think of that. Who hasn't done that? And missed an exam worth like 60% of your mark? I don't know if we've all done that. Twister slash opener, big damage, 727. Low kick. Laser cutter. It's enough. Big beat goes for the combo. Game two coming up. No twister slash this time. Laser cutter opener. 660. Anger. Twister kick. Lots of twisters. Into the twister slash. Do we see a grit? It's going to kill otherwise. We don't. And it crits. It crits for 990. Big damage there. Game three. Twister slash opener again. Crits for 999. Oh my god. That move doesn't even have a good chance to crit. Fucking kill me. Uh, let, what's the numbers on that? I'm salty. I'm looking this up. Oh, no, I How does this keep happening to me? Burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. Ten sharpness. Ten sharpness. That happened to me with... Uh, what was the other monster that kept getting the crits on me? That, like, it would have only killed with a crit. It was like a slop, like a frame one attack. I kept getting crit. I can't remember. Raki not spamming its offside basic. It only happens when it's me. Anyway. The Gaboo? Yeah, the Gaboo. Yeah. Ah, well. Okay, so that's it for Big Beat. He did extremely well yesterday, and, you know, just... Got kind of fucked by luck today. That's what happens. Rank and smog and was once a worm up next. I have to see if there's like something in my builds that makes it so everybody always crits against me. Like every single time. Um... Check the tapes back today. Look how many times I got crit against. In that last match, every single attack that hit was a crit. Except for the very first one. Uh, Rankin, Smog, and one's Once a Worm. Prediction is live. Fights two Beaklons in a row. He's got to fight the Beaklons. Eighty-eight percent on rank and smog. Here we go. I just lost life index due to stress. It's pretty funny. It, uh, you know, I'm already over it. There's always like a, a pang of like, come on, man, really? But then, you know, it's Moss Rancher. You get over it real quick. I'll, I'll definitely be entering in more two nine nine seven stuff in the future. 
I think it's a good build. I know it's a good build. It's just, you know, today wasn't his day. Well, that is, uh, that went much better than last time, I think. Rankin Smog is going to win that one 2-0. Well. While I'm, while I'm crying about my monster, was it once a worm? Dies. Or Noah and Ultra G up next. So both both times this week I went uh, one and two. So not not a great week for me, heavyweight and middleweight. But next week, next week's the one where I got somebody in top four and someone in top eight. So maybe maybe my my second picks will do good too. Maybe they won't though. Next week I'll go two. Yeah, probably. Twiddle me this didn't do very well, but you know, I, I was really expecting Big B to do a little bit better, especially after yesterday. Yesterday gave me false hope. Seven, eighty-five percent on Ornoa. Snowstorm doing eight hundred damage. Right jab with power. Out even. Ice spikes will kill here though. Four seventy-seven on the crit. Ornoa takes it. Game number two. 547. Ultra G needs something here. One, two straight. Gonna give him a shot to get back into it. It's a left jab of his own. Only a little bit of damage though. Magic punch. That should finish him off. There's the grit though. Or Noah needs to take another hit to go down. Double slap's not gonna do much, but does wither quite a bit. Cold breath. Ooh, crits, but Ultra G is still in it. Gets power. Power left jab. Completely overkill, but takes it anyway. That's how weak that attack is. Only did 200 damage. He's got max power. It's like, what, 8 force or something like that? How many balls can I juggle at once? One. Cold Breath doing a little bit of damage there. Magic Punch? It's not enough to kill or no, it's still in it. Probably won't get another chance to Snowstorm, though. Magic Punch is going to finish him off. I think he already lost, though, right? I think he... Oh wait, no, that was 2-1. 2-1, yeah. Arnoa won game 1, and then Ultra G won game 2 and 3. Okay, next up... Uh... Wait, oh fuck, I forgot to write it down. Who won between Equitatus and Odysseus? I think Equitatus won. I know Odysseus won game 1. Equitatus won with the Rush Slash game two. And then I don't know who uh, Equitatus won. Okay. I know it went to game three. I just couldn't remember who won game three. H2 and Sono Head up next. Are we going to have an instant trample against the speed monster? Okay, prediction is live. Oh, right, that's right. The, the Meteor Drive win. Thank you for that. There we go. I just bought uh, an area rug for my office. He can't see it, but it is so nice. It's so, it's so soft on the feet. It's definitely going to help with stopping uh, sound reflections and stuff, too. So nice that like everything I've like thrown in my office like helps make it feel like cozier and comfier and it also just legitimately makes it better for sound quality too so no head with 80 percent slamming down 53 gelcopter is going to land but it won't kill wing combo 73 percent miss only needs to land one thing hits the bite takes it there game three game two <laughs> game three game two Two bites? Doesn't even have a head. 
That shit should do less damage with a non-corporeal mouth, you know? But Sonohead's gonna take that one. Photon Cannon and Equitatus up next. Will Photon Cannon attack this time? I don't think we have any uh, low life monsters left except for Mix Up, right? Oh, and Shuma Gorath. Shuma's still in it too. He's fighting next. Oh man, they, they potentially have to run into each other. Shuma keeps winning. Spirit Dragon on Galley kind of reminds me of like My Hero Academia guy. I've never actually watched it. I don't know. I don't know that reference. Meteor Drive, low kick, okay, Photon Cannon's in the lead. Any intelligence attacks? Napalm shot, oh, he lands one, a little bit of damage. So now he can survive, like, a rear leg kick. He might still be in the lead after a rear leg kick. Smash missing. I told you! Well, no, I think he's losing. <laughs> it's close. Oh! It looked like the horse model didn't know what to do there. Equitate is going to take that one. Game two. Meteor drive opener again. 42%, not too bad. That low kick, you know, not really what he wants. Smash miss. Napalm shot. A little bit of damage. Rush slash miss. Low kick. Smash gonna do big damage. Ooh. Damage on the napalm shot. Two in a row! Proton Cannon's gonna take game number two. Look at that. He's got a game. He's on the board. Pretty cool little show later seasons have been kind of meh though. Angry gets you pumped shoulder wise and then drops off. Oh no. That's always unfortunate. That's cool though. I'm glad, you know. It's one of those things where if people enjoy a thing, I'm happy they enjoy it. It seems like a very non-interesting thing to say. Like, why wouldn't I enjoy it? Why wouldn't I be happy that other people are happy? But, you know, people like to be negative. And it's an anime, so, you know, there's always a bunch of back and forth discourse about it. That's all I know about it is people arguing about whether or not it's good. So, if you enjoy it, hell yeah. Equitate is going to take that one. Rungnir and Shumagorath up next. Prediction is live. Like, MHA technically meant your boyfriend because of that anime? That's cool. Someone shit on it to maintain balance? I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Oh my god, there's this uh, thing I commented on... Uh, on uh, Twitter, because I was uh, commenting on some stuff about the um, Smash Bros. tournament that happened this weekend, and a Yoshi player won the the melee tournament, and that's hype because Yoshi like blows, and uh, Amsa is just a god. Shimogorath, ninety one percent of the vote, but uh, this one guy's like, he didn't even have to beat anyone good to win the whole thing. He got such a lucky bracket. And then I was like, hey, bro, take a break from hating to go join your next local tournament. And uh, he was like, oh, you're so mad. You're so mad that I made fun of your god. You're so mad. And I'm like, you OK? You sound like uh, sound like you're having a hard time. And he's like, no, you sound like you're having a hard time. Here's the suicide hotline. <laughs> I'm like, OK, so, you know, you'd me. And then he's like, I can't believe you're so mad. Like, I didn't even respond. And he just kept going. And I was like, this is fucked up. Like. I don't think I've ever seen a more like, don't put in the newspaper that I'm mad. For the record, I'm not mad type response like in my life. Anyway, uh, 
Rangnir wins that one. Shimagorath doesn't do anything. Sounds like someone who gets mad about Starbucks holiday cups. He sounds like someone who just, like, doesn't have a lot going on in their life. But what's really funny is he, he posted that suicide hotline dunk attempt, like, twice. And it's like, the first time was bad enough because it's kind of just like a no you type comeback. And then I said something else, like, that's kind of bizarre. And he's like, yeah, yeah, stop crying. Call the suicide hotline. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you're, you're a huge fucking loser. Oh my god. Sometimes it's funny to feed the trolls. I'm not owned. Yeah, he got corn cobbed. Eyeball boy did all right. He did do all right. He went, what, three and two? Yeah, three and two. That's pretty sick. 60%. That's a great record. 86 on Rosalina here. And I know it's like very common to be like, when you're explaining some discourse you saw online, to paint yourself as like the rational one and everyone else is fucking stupid. But like, I was legitimately just like, Hey bro, why are you hating? Take a break from hating, go enter a tournament and have some fun. And he just like went off the rails and I was like, okay. Like, did your dog die? Like, I'm sorry. That gatekeeping discourse, I know. The double aqua waves? Rush slash though. Ooh. Wait. Rosalina won game one, right? Yeah, hit the icicle arrow. We're going to game three. Dash slash miss. Dash slash hit. Hold fog and do a little bit. And do a little bit more. Ooh, dash slash miss again. Not using that uh, slash combo. I think that's the problem here. Guys. Guys. I, I'm just saying is all. I'm just saying is all, you know? <laughs> you are a cop, my son. <laughs> oh my god. They heard the commentators talking. I'm sorry, Sasha. Bahamut and he's up next. Do you know if if I had like one sub for every time that, that happened? I would, we would hit our next emote tier. We need like another like 300 sub points to hit our next emote tier. By the time the Pokémon has a tournament doing, it's going well. <laughs> it's going well. Uh, I gotta find he. Also, you all lose money on that. I'm sorry about that. The real curse, the real monkey's paw shit about that is I can't do it for my own monsters. I, c I can only tell the future of everyone else. I don't think that would be a fair power to have. If I could do it for my own. You got paid to hell yeah. I wonder who's out there actively cheering for more Undine fan art. I don't even dislike Undine, I just think it's funny to have heal monsters. Yeah, me too. That's great. Ruby <laughs> Rose is such a wild name. Yeah, that's great. Adriana, the ultimate heal. Adriana was such a fucking powerful build. I'm just like, what if I just got rid of the basics and only had buffed water cannon and water gun? That's a great example 
game balance and lack of data because people thought water cannon and water gun were not that good because of how strong the icicle arrow line is and to be fair they're not as strong in vanilla as they are in this but they're still extremely good the fact they got buffed probably makes uh undine the best monster in hard mode though there are some people who want the undine fan art and they need to be sprayed with a water bottle that's what they want though that's the whole thing like, don't give them what they want, Macho. Didn't Adriana sweep the Legend Cup? Yes. Adriana had 100 elo more than the second highest ranked monster. We're going to game two. Yeah, Engine built a beast. Smoosh! Oh my god, Bahama does it! He gets the smoosh! Next up, we got Balboa and Ultra G. I got text message. Who texted? Oh no, it's a. Uh... Get out of here, fucking TikTok accidentally opening. Get out of here. It's so easy to accidentally open TikTok. Someone took her to game five in the final bracket. I think Wemkid did. Yeah. Wemkid was a great build too. If you guys want to see, I mean, season two is a good example of what is strong in uh, hard mode as well. But if you watch the original Legend Cup, you'll see some shit that like you would not expect to see. I mean, obviously, Legend Cup season two had Ghost and uh, Mock Grand Finals, so that's uh, that's not something you'll ever fucking see in this, but. Okay, Bahama won that one. But the first season, I had Power Plant, Power Tank Plant, and Power Tank Hopper in top six. I didn't make uh, top six. I didn't make the Legend Cup in season two, but in season one, I had two monsters in it. And uh, yeah, one was a Power Tank Plant, and one was a Power Tank uh, Hopper. Pretty strong. Bad idea, yeah. 82% on Balboa. Borton and Baroness are still your favorite. Baroness was a lot of fun. Borton is probably my favorite build, but he did uh, poorly. Turns out Intelligence Worm is still not great. Ooh, Slap does well. Takes it. And then what, in... In Season 1, I had two monsters in the Legend Cup, Baroness made rank S, and Borton languished in rank A. In Season 2, I had Gordy, Dougie, and Jean-Claude all make rank S, and then Onosaur, I think, made rank B. <laughs> Monster did so bad. Oh my god, it doesn't kill, but there's the brow hit! The grit comeback, Balboa is going to take that. So that's 2-0 for Balboa, right? I do believe. Next up... Strena and Yokai Watch. People will yell at me if I'm wrong, so. So sad Rocks didn't get further. He wanted to see how Earthquake would work without the power attacks. He's just not long for this world, Macho. That's a very hard build because you need to, like, go through a really shitty period and then you have to transition. I think the goal would have been to start power and then uh, grind it down with Magic Bananas afterwards. That probably would have been the play, but, like, that's not fun. Onusaur was still better than Phantom Train. Phantom Train, I think, just need a better stat allocation. I think this, the, the move pool was pretty good on it. Worm, don't stay in school. It's not worth it. Born to be himbos. World is a fuck. One hundred billion dead mochis. Grandpa? What was it? Moldy Grandpa, right? Yeah. I wanted to say Stinky Grandpa, but it was Moldy Grandpa. 75%. Alright, Yokai Watch, show them what you're made of. You beat me. Let's see how far you can get. Twister Slash, 37%! Ooh, that would've killed. The frame one Twister Slash, not that ballsy, honestly. 
kind of just a good play. Kind of like the Golem, uh, Golem Brow Smash, except on a monster with a much faster Guts Rate. Getting withered pretty hard, though. Twister Kick, probably the play, though. Twister Kick will do about 700 damage in this matchup. Root Combo lands. Stranding and take that one. Game 2. Spin Slash hits. 500 damage, even. 97 life left. It's the Root Attack. Two in a row. Not really what Strano wants to be doing. Yokai okay, watch this building a stupid lead. Goes for another spin slash. It misses. Weapon at 63, probably enough to kill. Yeah. Yokai okay, watch takes game number one. Game two. Game three, sorry. Remember watching Moldy Grandpa fight? Good times? Yeah. It's overture overachieved though. Me not being able to get rid of Copter and Machine Gun was the killer. Yeah. Oh shit, the spin slash hits, but there's the grit. Still in it. Plant combo. Good damage. Root combo. Oh, there's the crit. We got a grit tie. Let's go. Weapon throw. Weapon throw finisher. Sister slash misses. Stren has got this, I think. Stren is going to take that 2-1. The plant does the thing. Dodge is just enough. Hits just enough. Barely going to make it out of that one alive. Okay. That was pretty clutch. Next up, we got Japanese Monster. I think it's the Three Nox and Rankin Smog. Oh, I didn't mean to go to ranking. Wait, nobody bet on... That was a really small bet. Okay, prediction is live. Is this what I mean by salty bets? What do you mean? And salty bets is a channel. Maybe we'll raid salty bets after this. I always feel bad raiding salty bets because it's just like an automated thing and I can use that power for good to go after someone else and like help them out. But Salty Bed is a stream with um, where it just plays Mugen fights. And so you just bet on a random fighting game character. And it could be like Donatello from the Ninja Turtles versus Kirby. Or Gel actually has a... Uh, like Monster Rancher Gel has a move set on there. I don't know who made it, but it's pretty cool. You lost the last bet by a lot. Oh, that's all. Yeah, I mean, that's what salty bets means. Yeah. Shark Frenzy is your favorite. My favorite is Kirby with its uh, learner's permit driver's license. That's my favorite character. Cheer for in uh, salty bets. 66% on the wall. Two knocks. Give him the knocks. Gives him the power. Power dragon combo. Oh my god, he went for it. He didn't need to, but that is insane. There was a disc on the other day, like Monster Rancher disc. That's sick. So I guess somebody made a lot of different uh, monsters. Like Monster Rancher one monster. Yeah, that's awesome. Tail whip miss. The gel one, the gels and like idle sprite or like idle animation is just its artwork from the Monster Rancher battle card, which is like maybe the goofiest gel art. It's got its ass beat, sadly. Yeah. That makes sense. The double bite. The triple bite misses it. Dragon Smog running away, then running in. Oh, the crit spike stabs. Wall's gonna take that one. Did a face one of the lolly fighting game characters? You can't bet against lolly anime. They're they're always gonna win. Okay, next up we got Sono Head and Equitatus. Rest in peace, Mads. 
hard fight. So I can't help but think while we're doing this about uh, Fujita's statements about like oh I, I like it's it's very easy to uh, take it personally right it's it's a big hit to the ego for him to be like I guess the the Western players don't know how to play or whatever he said right but I'm looking at this and I see currently uh, three Japanese players left in the entire tournament. Kind of looks like Japan doesn't know how to play their own format. Has nothing to do with sample size or the fact that they all eliminated each other early on. Definitely not. It's definitely that they don't know what they're doing. Okay, 86% on Sono Head. Meteor Drive opener, well, that'll do it on a crit. No crit that time. Slamming down. Get rid of all your guts, kid. You didn't have any guts to begin with. Kind of not, not the play, to be honest. Rush slash. Do we see a grit? No grit. The horse takes it. Hello, everyone. Hey, Tiny Awu. How are you doing? Long time no see. Next up. Rungnir and Ruby Rose. Ooh, that's the sound that fucking Nixon makes on uh, Futurama. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Getting over having COVID? Oh no. Always come back to your monster exploding. <laughs> he did good though. No head did good. One, two. Uh, how many wins? Went three and two. Yeah, three and two. Not bad. Okay, what do we got on the bet here? 55.45. Learn from seeing MCR live and getting a copy of your book. Um, highest of my life to getting COVID after a work conference? Oh no. 3 2 is technically a winning record. It's a great record, honestly. If your monster does 3 and 2, if you win more than you lose, uh, you're in a great spot. Also, Rungnir has that one hit potential. Game 2. Didn't kill. There's the anger. Do we see Deathbringer? Slash combo with anger. I don't think the anger mattered. Anger on Deathbringer is very funny because it withers like 99 guts. Game three. Here we go. Cross smash. No crit. <laughs> Ruby, you gotta walk forward. Oh my god, that's it. Rungnir takes it. Man. This is like a slaughtered in uh, loser's bracket. Eh? It's all the tanks just fucking slogging it out. Well, the the high class speedy fops are all uh, all being dandies. Oh no, I don't want to get hit. Oh, no, They're all hanging out in winter's side. They're gonna get their what for. Prediction is live. Can't do slash combo if you can't get to slot one. Yeah, you make a good point. Getting hit is overrated. Probably. She did walk forward, but then Golem shimmied back. Education, subjugation, and you walk go. What do we got? Nine seconds left. 70% on Balboa. Here we go. Trample. That move cannot fucking miss. Muhammad takes game one. Game two. It's 
spinning club misses. Again with the slaps. The slaps. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everyone who plays this game because this is this is hard on the heart. Strena. Strena up next. Is Strena the only speed monster left in losers right now? It won't be after some of the monsters in top eight move down, but you know, for now. Uh, okay. Who? Which is this monster? Is this the Monol? I think it might be the Monol. Oh no, the Monol lost. Or is this another Monol? It is the other Monol. There's many Monol. Many Monol a Monol. Okay, prediction is live. Monopoly, yeah. Heart on the magma heart, it is. Why is he spamming slap against the tank? I don't know, man. Think that's a Fuji song? Yeah, something like that. Eighty percent on the knocker. The big knocker. Oh, hits the root attack. Two in a row. Mono's got 70 guts now, though. He's going to take significantly reduced damage. It's the charge into the knock, and knock's going to miss as well. Plant combo at 29%. Not a great chance. They stroll on about 50 50. That would have killed from full health. He grits, though. He's still in it. They both got about 50 guts. Plant combo only at 22% chance to hit, but it's going to land. Strand is going to take that one with 16 seconds left on the clock. Going into game two. Here we go. Opening with a plant combo again. He's like, it worked last time. Might as well do it again. Flattening. Up and trying to build up those guts. That move does not do much. Withering. The needle stabs. Misses. Plant combo again. And again. That is so risky. A knock hits. But there's the grit. 40 gets lead on Strena. Face drill on a crit will kill here. Slap. Probably not what it wants. But it misses anyway. Face drill lands. 302. Would have killed on a crit. Need something. Root combo. It's enough. Barely. What a long comeback. What a crazy game. Strena wins that one. Two seconds left on the clock. Hits the root combo. Just barely enough damage. And it takes it. Okay. So. We are. Wait. Was that a 2-0? Yeah. That was a 2-0. That didn't feel like a 2-0. But it was. I'm just updating scores. That was a whole round of 2 0s. We're getting close. We've got the planes for top 8 now. We've got Annie versus Equitatus. We got Mixup versus Rungnir. Oh, we got the two. We got the, the Sand Golem and the Gobi fighting. We got Slimiest Max versus Bahamut. And we got DIY versus Strana. So, let's get to it. A and E. Equitatus. Okay, prediction is live. I'm rooting for this plant to win. A and E, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm rooting for this crab dragon to take the gold. It doesn't work for that one, Goat. I'm sorry. Strana doing some work? You know, punching above its weight, as we like to say. It is putting on a show. It's had some really good matches. I think... The thing is, I normally don't go with Plant for my thumbnails, because it's such a fucking pain in the ass to uh, crop around it. But if I can find a good frame with it, Maybe that will just be what I, I use, because I think that's the star of the show so far. It asks, since you're singing Smooth Criminal, what the hell is Michael Jackson reverse referring to in Shimona? Shimona! I think it's just, uh, it's just an ad lib. It's just a sound. The instant meteor drive. 
Spike Stab's gonna do 999 on the crit. Do it again. Gotta feed the little Kato's. And give them their tobacco. Another Spike Stab's. Another Spike Stab's. It's been working. Oh, the Smash Lands. Smash Lands! There's the Grit. Both monsters can attack. They both got about 30 guts. <laughs> Another Spike Stab's. Just use it five times. That's how you win. GG's. And he's moving on to top eight. Okay. Uh, Penguin, have you had a monster not make top eight? Like, what's up with this? Mix up and rung near. The thing is, uh, Penguin got kind of unlucky in one of the matchups earlier today, but they still won because they, they just have a good monster and a good build. Your monster is going to get unlucky sometimes. It's just. It matters when it gets unlucky, you know? Okay, prediction is live. Not that we listen to Alien Ant Farm much, but it came on the radio. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, uh, honestly, the Alien Ant Farm version is killer. Alien Ant Farm is a really weird band that I'm, like, not really into. But that fucking song is so good. It is produced so well. It is performed so well. It's sick. That shit slaps. Got at least top eight so far. I was just about to see. Yeah. yeah, that's sick though. Good for you, man. I did it with two. Two out of one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at 33%. I'm at 33% so far. I'm hoping for 50 by the end of next week. 85% on Rungnir. Brow smash, brow smash opener, it misses. Do we see the diving press? We, yeah, we see that. <laughs> I was about to say we don't, but you know, you have to prophecy. Apollo is my buddy. Game two. Uppercut, not enough damage to kill, but the diving press follow up would be. Slap at 53, misses. That's gonna be it. Mix up wins that one. That's, uh, why did you guys bet against mix up? That is such a one sided matchup. You need to, like, really be betting on those 35s to hit. The, the round opening 35s, because it's immediately over if they miss. Slimeus and Bahamut next. Slimeus has only had to fight tanks, I think. Until uh, the last one. I think the last one was the speed one. Yeah. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Has there been a better cover of a song? I, the thing is, most of the time when people do covers, they try to keep it close to the original, right? And a lot of the time it doesn't really... You, you're just comparing yourself to the original, right? But theirs is so different. Like, the melody in the chorus is different. You know how nuts that is to just change the melody for the chorus of the song that you are covering? Like, you need to have, like, actual vision. It's, it's genuinely good, and it's really funny that it was a new metal band of all bands that did it, you know? What's the most iconic cover? Um, probably... Well, I mean, there's quite a few where, like... The, the original is not as popular like Knocking on Heaven's Door is a good example of that I think uh, the Guns N' Roses version is more popular most of the time Hurts, Hurts a good example of that I was also going to mention that Johnny Cash and Nine Inch Nails uh, The Year 3000 by the, fuck, the Jonas Brothers then I forget to, I forget who did it before them. Like, but it sounds the exact same, except it's like, what if we Mickey Mouseified this by like five percent? And then it's the exact same thing. Otherwise, Muhammad's gonna take that one. I'm pretty sure that's a two zero. Tori Amos, this smells like Teen Spirit, Raining Blood are incredible. There's uh, there's some pretty good uh, covers out there of 
people doing like extremely heavy songs, but like in their own style. I was flying combo hit every time. It, it hasn't hit like at all. Brota Eyes' version of Over the Rainbow. Yeah. That, that's probably the biggest one. There's so many, there's like so much mythology around that, right? Where like he just like showed up and he's like, I want to record a song. Here's $300. And they're like, okay. DIY and Strena up next. Okay, prediction is live. Under pressure? Under pressure is not like a cover though, right? Sampled. Sound of Silence by Disturbed? Dude, that shit is so funny to me. The thing I really like about Disturbed, and it's not their music, the thing I like about Disturbed is how much of a sense of humor they have about themselves. Like, they are fully aware of what they are. And, you know, you can tell that they take their music seriously, but they understand that it's not like peak art right it's just tunes that they wanted to hear and so there's all these videos and shit of like people making fun of them and there there's all these interviews with the guys from disturbed being like if it's funny like we'll find it funny like we enjoy laughing at that shit they don't take themselves seriously there's an under pressure cover by mcr and they used oh that's right they did do one yeah that's definitely not uh Definitely not as popular as fucking Queen and David Bowie, though. The MCR version of Astro Zombies rocks, too. That shit is so good. Strana hits the root combo. It's the slap. Face drill's gonna land! Ooh, DIY's got 10 life left. The double low kick, it's not enough though. Plant combo miss at 25, he loves swinging it. Stop swinging that thing. Base drill misses, four seconds left. Plant combo, 17%, holy cow. Stren is MVP of this tournament. Stren is absolutely MVP, does not matter what happens from this point on. DIY gets the three second KO. DIY can win this, but DIY won't win the emotional battle, you know? My combo miss. Good combo doing a little bit of damage. DIY has pretty accurate attacks, though. That's the thing. Joel shot at 48. It misses. Stren is in it. One more. Plant combo. Just just for just for old time's sake. Oh, the jab kill? Stren is gonna take it. Oh my god. Oh my god. 71% of people bet on Strena there. They know. They feel it. Okay, so we have our top 8. We got a plant in top 8 of 2997. That's kind of fucked. Good for Strena. We have uh, the Color Pandora versus Fairy Hair Z. We have Soft Shell Stew versus Benny Gesserit. We got A&E versus Mixup. And we got Bahamut versus Strena. So we're going to do these losers matches first. And then we're going to do the winner's matches. Because the winner's matches guarantee, like, they determine who is moving on to the tournament in a couple of weeks' time. God, it's so crazy. UKMR is coming out next week. I'm starting to get, like, really hyped up about it. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Benny Gesserit is from Dune. I, yeah. It's one of those names that I don't actually know how to pronounce properly because I've never seen the movies. I haven't seen any of the Dune movies. I've only read the book. Is it actually coming out next week in the, in the US? Yep, it is. I actually, Freya, I think I can uh, just copy the link here. 
I actually put out a video yesterday, or today. I put out a video like an hour before the stream started. Uh, feel free to bookmark that, or even just leave the stream. <laughs> just go watch the video. I don't care. Whatever. I still watch my content. Also, my forehead's very shiny today. I have my, uh, my lighting set up slightly differently. I can probably move it slightly off my head. But yeah, basically, um, what it looks like happened is they were worried about trying to get the rights for all the music in the database. And so they just went without the database so they could uh, have the game do a global relaunch launch on the same day. The oily T-Zone, it's not even oily. It's just very shiny. I don't have a makeup person, you know? I, I know the, the oily T-Zone, but like it's uh, without makeup. It's very hard to fix that. Live Nash is more important -er. oh, Okay, I appreciate that. Mix up with 80%. It's not fighting a tank this time, though. It's not fighting a tank this time. He doesn't know that either. He tries to diving press off the hop. Okay, we're going to game three. <laughs> Can't work a while ago, and the makeup does put in work. It, it makes a huge difference. Uppercut's gonna land. You guys know something I don't. I didn't know what was gonna happen in this one. The mix up is that he doesn't ever miss. Two one. GG's, GG. GG's frame. Bahamut and Strena up next. Can Strana do it again? Okay, prediction is live. Annie has been hit by, he's been struck by a smooth criminal. Got hit by the mix-up. You didn't block that. Shake my hand. Penguins pro tag powers try their best. He made top eight again. Look what's getting a second mon in. Yeah, he almost got another one in. Does anybody have nobody's got two mons in yet, right? Nobody's got two mons in heavyweight or middleweight so far. Bahamut and Strena. Here we go. Face drill, a little bit of damage. Mom, saw a TikTok of your cat randomly. Didn't block the low, didn't block the overhead either. That's the mix-up. Tail whip, miss at 58. Flying combo, trample, face drill might kill here. Strana's gonna take it. Bahamut barely attacked. Incidental withering on plants kit is pretty spooky. Pretty hard to deal with sometimes. I just realized Strana also only has uh, 800 power. That explains kind of the low damage output. I mean, no plant has low damage output. Shut up. But... Like, it seemed especially low to me, and I wasn't really paying attention, but the 800 power definitely makes sense for that. Bahamut's still in it. Taleb is going to take game number two. Flying, er, flying combo misses. Face drill going to do a decent amount of withering. Proxy the anger. Another one going to keep that Guts rate in check. Misses the Spinning Claw just like that. Strana has a 10 Guts lead again. Face Drill again? Only using Face Drill, eh? And Bahamut's having trouble here. Brood Attack's not going to kill. Needs something a little bit bigger. Well, even with more Guts. The Bite lands. Six seconds left. Jab. The Jab finisher. Strana is moving on. Strana's moving on to top six. Okay. So Mixup and Freeman waiting in the wings. We have the Japanese Color, Pandora, and Fairy Hair Z up next. Uh, Dora. It says P on this one. 
two ER W four P P. Very hairsy. So Ravi doesn't have a monster in the finals yet. So this would be his first. He can do it. Prediction is live here. Who do you like? We're getting close to the end. We're almost done. We're going to be a little bit over time, but we won't be as over time as we were yesterday. Are we going to have plan for his Crab Dragon finals? <laughs> My fat ass almost typed Crab Rangoon. Are we going to have Crab Rangoon finals? Okay, 66% on the color Pandora. One two punch can do a little bit. Kamikaze follow up misses. Yeah, that's not what it wants. Another Kamikaze misses again. I kick at 30, it lands, that's gonna kill. Gets grit again, the color Pandora loves getting grit. Does another Kamikaze misses a third time. That high kick misses. Kamikaze is gonna keep the color Pandora in this still though. Giant whip at 30, gonna whiff. Speaking of whiff, keeps getting that gas. He's got Huri, Prox Fury, which actually runs down the clock just enough that he needed to use something real big and get a crit to win it. Barry Harris gonna win game one. One win away from having a monster in top six in the finals. Top three today, top six for the finals. There's the Giant Whip. I kick miss at 26%. Giant Whip miss at 30 there. And two punch gonna do a lot on the crit. Another one, not enough to kill. Oh, next hit wins for both monsters. Two swings lands. There's the grit though. Very hair still in it. Both monsters got a ton of. <laughs> I was gonna say a ton of gas. We got a ton of guts. Base attack gonna take that. Gut the gas could have killed there. We're going to game three. All right, straight gonna do 400 damage on the hop. Hop like a hair. Giant Whip miss at 29%. Another hard straight misses. A lot of guts. Ooh, good damage there. Rock's power doesn't need it, but you know. Tail swing not gonna kill the second one. Will. Ooh. Color Pandora's moving on. We got a color Pandora. Congratulations. The uh, whichever Japanese player that is. They uh, they got a monster in. Softshells 2 and Benny up next. Okay, prediction is live. Thanks for all these Monster Rancher 2 streams. Reignited my love of the game. Now raising suplex worm. Hell yeah. Perry Saturn? That's a sick ass name. Let's go. Become crab. Time to become crab. Think you can perform kamikaze IRL? By yourself? Yeah, we got Dune references. They both have the same amount of forehead. It's true. You can count the rings on the forehead for how old the crab is. And it's also the same on her. It's just with wrinkles. 57 to 46. People like in soft shell stew. Dodge the icicle. Arrow goes for trample. It fucking misses. Excuse me? That move can miss? Well, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know what to believe, chat. Even long enough time frame, everything becomes a crab. Yeah, it's true. Nice coffin. Crample miss again. He's just gonna keep going for it. He's like, you know what? It's. I know. This is what I know. You know? Bite lands and he's one more, but it's not enough. Animation's too long. Benny, one win away from advancing to top three for the day. There's the trample. We're going to game three. It wouldn't be a set without him landing at least one trample. Game three. 
Cold Fog, they're in slot two already? The double Cold Fog? Yeah, what misses? Nah, that's, that's not your forte. Oh, shit! The crit Cold Fog will do it. That was really unceremonious, but uh, it's a win. Off Shell Stew fell apart at the end there. 2 1. So you gotta draw another Undine. We got Color Pandora and Undine. Wow, who would have thought? Who would have thought the big top tiers would make it in? Terry Hairsy and uh, Mix Up up next. We still have a lot of fun monsters, but we also have just like the known entity stuff hanging out. Also, this is the best Benny's ever done, so congratulations. Benny always like struggles a little bit. So good for good for Benny. Because it's obviously a strong build, it's an Undine. With a good uh tech loadout, but it just, you know, last time or like just in general, Glacium's monster just didn't do particularly well for whatever reason. Same thing with like my guy, right? Like Big Beat didn't do well today, but it's a good monster. And this just happened to be Benny's day. We're one Undine fan art away from me doing an Undine cosplay stream? No. We're about a thousand away from that. 64 on the mix-up. It worked last time. One, two punch misses. Miss again. Miss again, fucko. Diving press? Oh my god. Well. How's the game going? It's going well. It's going well. We're almost done this tournament. Mix-up wins. Truly the most mix-up way to win that. Soft Shells 2 and Strena up next. Ravi ends up top 6. Unfortunately, his monster did not make it. I was rooting for him. I thought he had a shot, you know? he always He's always right on the cusp. He makes top 8 pretty consistently. Soft Shell Stew and Strena. I really wish this was in the finals. I don't want to see these two fight right now. One's got to eliminate the other one. Okay, start the prediction. Who do you like? Nine hundred ninety nine pieces of moose bones fan art. Oh god. A lot. Why even get hit text? Why even get hit text? Guess I'll just submit Undines, please don't. Who's the Undine of uh UKMR gonna be? Fifty four percent on soft shells do pretty split on the bets. Big bets too, 8.5, 7.2. Oh, the face trail put him in the yellow. Now he's a spooky fella. This is the bite. Root combo's gonna miss as well. Plant combo. You know, it wouldn't be Strena without spamming that plant combo. Trample miss at 35. Crit slap might be enough. Oh my god, hits the plant combo again. Strena saying, I can do that trample shit too. Plant combo lands for the billionth time. Tail Whip miss. Jab for just a tiny bit. Plant combo at 20. Tail Whip is off. Shell Stew bringing Strand down to half health. Misses the second one. Root attack at 57. Gonna whiff as well. Face drill in the 40s. Lands a crit. Strena versus mix up for top four. Soft Shell Stew gets sixth place. Or fifth place, sorry. It's top six. Uh, yeah, Strana wins that one. Okay, so that means we got, yeah, Mixup and Strana coming up next. So, GG's Soft Shell Stew, great monster, landed all the tramples, that's all you can hope for. He was a trampling man. And he did what he loved. He went out doing what he loved. So I cannot stress this enough. 
in winners we have two run-of-the-mill top tier builds for this format the other monster joining them will be this how many monsters go through three three go through this week three went through two weeks ago and then we'll have a top six Strena has such a weird stat spread. It's extremely good in this specific matchup, though. Only has to hit, like, one root combo. Or, hell, even one slap with a crit. Down to your last dollar. 3.7k. People are liking the mix-up. They got 6,900 on him. Face Drill is going to take game one. There's the grit. He might as well be at full health. <laughs> into the root combo, Strena's like, no, 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 you're not swinging fucking anything. I'm taking that. Game number two. Diving press, miss. Root attack lands, puts him in the yellow. Root attack lands again, it's enough. Strena is advancing. I told you guys, Strena was the mon of the tournament. What a goddamn run. So, it's not out yet. It's still in the tournament. But how many wins in a row is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six wins in a row in losers. I would have had to fight Strena if I beat Yokai Watch. Oh, God. Well, I would have lost there. No one's beaten this monster. Who did Strena lose to? Strena lost to Softshell Stew, actually. That's right. Softshell Stew is the one that put it into losers. That was the crazy one where it just landed all the tramples, and we were like, you know what? That's what this monster does, I guess. It also, yeah. And then it did it against Annie as well. Okay, so. Back to winners. We have the Color Pandora and Benny. Three speed monsters. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Blue plant fan art would be sick. Get to it. And if that only Selvius has a tank in top six in middleweight, yep. I think so. Yeah, that's the top three. That's the top three. We're into winners finals right now. 66% on the color Pandora. This is the Ice Sword. Base attack's gonna miss as well. Kamikaze at 57. A little bit of self damage there. Ice arrow. A lot of swinging. We have not seen Ice Coffin hit today. Giant Whip gonna take him out in one hit. Icicle Arrow misses. Two swings misses as well. Tail swing into a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. Ooh. Icicle Arrow doing a lot. Procs real. This could be real bad or real good depending on what happens next. Ice Sword. Oh, bad. It's bad. Ice Arrow miss at 42. Yeah, that's going to do a billion damage. There's the Grit. And misses. Four seconds left. Benny Gesserit can still win this Kamikaze miss. Going to run down the clock, though. Color Pandora is going to take that one 2-0. So, Color Pandora sitting in Grand Finals. I don't think anyone's surprised by that. Extremely strong monster with, you know, the standard good stuff build. Benny Gesserit and Strana up next. It's really funny I said the thing about how there's not many Japanese players left, but, you know, the Japanese player with the, the known entity top tier is in Grands. They do, uh, they do be entering, you know, just the best monsters. Looks like it's tough for Western fans this tourney. Exactly. You know, we know nothing about the game. We're definitely not just trying stuff for fun, and it's their first time in the Koshin. It is. Yeah.
so annoying to read challenge at the end without being able to zoom out or something. Uh, you can just, uh, you can check like top 32 or top 16, top 8. Okay, what do we got? 53 of 47, pretty split. Icicle arrow, big damage off the hop. Root attack misses. Root attack lands there. It's the third one. Plant combo? Damn. No guts left. Ice arrow misses. Arrow's gonna miss as well. Use the trifecta. Oh, a face drill! Lands. That's five left. Cold fog will kill here on power. Icicle arrow with power do a ton as well. Seven seconds left. Root combo misses, but runs down the clock by quite a bit. Face drill's gonna run down the clock as well. Strana scums the timer to win that game. I just realized, I'm pretty sure uh, the red on the plant is supposed to be like a dog's tongue like hanging out, like panting. Thank you. Ooh, good damage on that. Ice arrow's gonna land as well. Didn't need the power for that second one, but... Well, KO's a KO. Splash lands. There's really not a lot of point in trying to wither out a plant, though. The root combo misses again. Just trying to having trouble dodging this time. Cold fog lands. Do we see a grit? We don't. Strana still moves on, but it doesn't win the tournament today. Like, I was kind of hoping it might. 2-1 for Benny. And now we have our run back. Okay, so we are in grand finals. I uh, I forgot to slow these down, but that's okay. We'll slow down the finals. Okay. Prediction is live. You've seen this matchup already. Get to see it again. Looks like the Japanese breed name is still Peach Tree Bug, but transliterated. That's cool. Strana, yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate that Strana didn't win the whole thing. I was rooting for it, but maybe it'll win the whole thing. Probably not. In uh, the finals. Okay, nine thousand. On the color Pandora, 8,000 on the Undine. Ice Sword. Not really the opening play it wants. Just a waste of guts. Arrow's gonna miss. Huge guts lead. This is looking bad for a round one. It's gonna do a lot. Color Pandora wins at game number one. Its opponent tried its hardest to lose, and, you know, it did it in spectacular fashion. Game two. Here we go. Arrow's gonna land for 200, minus 10 guts. Arrow lands again, 178. Wouldn't have killed on a crit. Two swings, how much damage? 270, minus 10 guts. Ooh, getting real close. Next hit wins, more or less. Cold Fog lands, how much damage? 118. No grit? Wow, I was 100% expecting a grit there. Looking at it normal is weird? Yeah, a little bit. Game two. Game three, I should say. Splash opener misses that one. Two swings, yet to miss that. Pretty accurate tech. Doesn't put it in range to be able to proc power. Face attack, misses there. It might have killed. Ooh, misses there. First miss. Ice arrow. 310. Good damage. Goes for it again. 44%. It lands it. Benny is going to reset the bracket. So, comes down to this. We got a reset. Prediction is live once again. Who do you like? 2-1 for Benny that time. Either monster can win it. So I'm guessing the name is like Seeking Peach Bug. Because people use it to find for gold peaches. Oh, that's true. That's a good idea. That's a... 
or that's a good uh, rationale, I should say. It's kind of a clever name then. Okay. 81% on Benny. People went big on Benny after. They're not feeling it? I don't know, man. I think it's still pretty 50-50. Ice Arrow 46. Wow, that move has not missed, eh? Not lately. Ice Attack at 43. It's gonna be a whiff. Two swings. There you go. There's some damage. Crits for 321. Icicle Arrow a little bit overkill, I think. But it's going to land 644 damage, Benny. One win away from winning the whole tournament. And this is a strong opponent, too. So Benny is doing crazy right now. There's the Ice Arrow miss. Kamikaze, 59. Ooh, that's going to land. 396. Leaves him with one life. Still in it, but the Color Pandora has so many accurate attacks. This is terrifying if you're Benny. Splash is an awful option right now, but it goes for it. Base attack, 45 misses. Still has 50 guts. Base attack again. Catching up. Two swings at 45. Do we see a grit? We don't. We're going to game three. This is what happened two weeks ago between you and Selvius. Yeah. Game three. Icicle arrow opener. Crit. It doesn't crit. It does good damage, but it doesn't crit. It doesn't proc power either. Base attack at 44 is going to land 207 damage. Second one probably won't kill. It'll be close. So arrow at 47, it hits. Does the grit. It doesn't grit. Benny is your champ. Benny wins today. The sanctity of Western Monster Rancher has been upheld. We know what we're doing. <laughs> Clap, clap. We did it. I've never cheered for an Undine so much in my life. Oh, wait, what? Hold it. Hold up. Oh, I, I did it backwards. I, uh... I think there's a way to... Reopen. Okay, yeah, I made a mistake. Okay, there we go. Okay. So let's take a look. Bracket says bug cheated, bug wins anyway. That's the that's the strength of Japanese Monster Rancher. So Benny with the seven and one, Strano with the seven and two. Holy fuck, Strano, what a run. What a run. Let's look at this. Mix up soft shell stew, both doing well as well. Fairy hairs, Muhammad. See, this is the difference. Some monsters that like went out in like round three also have a, a three and two record. And, like losers round three because winning and winners matters way more for advancement than winning and losers does. So that's why you have a three and two up here and then also like a three and two down here. That matters a little bit more, I think, than the actual placement. But either way, look at this. Went out in the second round. Win, 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 win. Too many wins. Too many Ws. Japanese, a couple of Japanese players kind of had a rough day. But not the Peachtree Bug. That was great. What a fun tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys got to spam the Undines. Best Twitch Cherry Pop ever. Well, I'm glad you had fun. Making... Ruby hit those slash combos was great. You're welcome. Did anyone even clip that? Nobody fucking clips anything on my channel. I hate this shit. I have to go back and find it now. SMH.